we're going to be reviewing one of the new pieces of creation content. Not to be confused with the Creation Club. This is creation content designed by players, uh, mod authors that have been approved by Bethesda to create paid content. Um, so today we're going to be checking out one of the, well, it is the most expensive creation on Creation Club. So I'm pretty excited to see what it's like, to be honest with you. Let me just uh, get Scaram up here. Let me know you guys can hear me and the audio is okay and whatnot. It's good to see you. Thanks for joining the stream. I thought the best way of showing this off is just to do a live stream of it because um, you can then see like a non-cut version of what, what it's actually like. Currently, it's got four likes and 10 bookmarks. And considering there's like 20,000 people playing Skyrim concurrently, that doesn't seem like a lot. So I don't even know if many people even know this exists. Not, I don't think anyone's really covered this stuff. People have covered like being angry at paid mods, uh, but no one's really covered the actual content. So I feel like I want to just review it um, and talk about it um, at the end, especially. But this is actually one of the more interesting mods because it doesn't just add like, you know, like a new house or armor or, well, the follower is quite interesting, um, or guns um, or dungeons or armor. It actually adds like new mechanics into the game, which sounds very interesting. So I'm kind of keen to see how that plays out. The East Empire Company is looking to expand their reach in Skyrim. You know what? Let's just buy it now. It costs $7. Purchase. Yes. Oh, that was quick. Thank God for good internet. Uh, it's already enabled. Cool. In exchange for your help building up the East Empire Company's presence in Skyrim, they'll provide you with powerful tools to help your adventuring. Loot delivery system. I mean, that sounds bizarre. They will carry your extra load out of dungeons and back to town, and even back to your home. Sell your wares. Give you extra items to the East Empire Company merchant, and they'll sell your items over time. Thanks for being a member for 10 months, Garfield. Love that name, by the way. Claim dungeons. You can claim dungeons in the name of the East Empire Company and receive a cut of their mining operations. I don't know if that's all dungeons or just specifically ones that can be mined. Um, you can watch them take over the location with guards and mining teams. So it sounds very dynamic. It sounds like as you're just playing Skyrim and doing Skyrim stuff, like this is just going to add like another layer to the gameplay. And I really think stuff like this, like I think a lot of mods like this, um, Starfield could really benefit from. And I think there's a lot of like mechanics that I could see the developers clearly intended to add, but for whatever reason, they just never reached fruition. Like with the... Um, the bounty hunter mechanic, it says, oh, go, you can take the bounty target dead or alive. Some ships even have prisons built into them, like the brig. Um, but they're, And you can like lock them and put people in there. But there's no mechanics around you actually being able to use them on the bounty hunter missions. So I think there was an intention because you have weapons that can knock people out in that game. But you can't like drag people or put them in the brig. So I think there's an intention of these mechanics being there. But... You know, a game like Starfield would really benefit from stuff like this, you know? That's my opinion, at least. Um, so I, I'm quite excited to try this out. As you engage in their services, claim locations, and convince the Yarls to allow them to do business in the hold, you'll witness the East Empire's presence grow as they set up outposts in the nine holds of Ravenrock. So it's throughout Skyrim. Eventually, these outposts will improve and grant even more services and benefits to you helping them. So you won't see everything in this episode, but we can at least get started on that. Features a professionally voice acted quest line. Okay, professional. And dynamic systems that allow these new services to work with the base game content and other creations and even community mod added locations. Ah, so they have considered that. Working with other mods that aren't just paid for as well. Um, okay, okay. So let's, to play this, I'm going to back out. It's going to reset our data files. Thanks, Orange Wolf, for becoming a member of the channel. Appreciate the support, bro. You actually unlock member access content and early access to content too. So it should be loaded if I load my save. I think if I load this, let's actually load this one. Um, current load order. Yeah, because otherwise it won't load the mod. When does the stream start? Refresh. Tell him to refresh. 
Okay, let's take out this band. Because I think to start this mod, we have to clear a cave. So I'm going to take... <laughs> Mercy! She gets absolutely obliterated. And now after we've cleared that cave, we should get a quest beginning, hopefully. So let's actually run back through the mountain, come out of this cave, and hopefully we, the creation will start without any issues. I think this is one of the more interesting mods, but it does cost $7, so I'm kind of keen to see if it's worth $7. I feel like you'd almost have to use it for a Let's Play to feel like you're getting your money's worth, you know? 8 a.m. A shortcut. Almost died. Goodness me. Let's run back down to the entrance. Hello there, mate. As you can see, I previously wrecked all of these NPCs. Including this poor blind man, Rip. Okay, let's see if it works. Or if we get any notifications to start this mod. Maybe if I wait an hour? I think a Kuji is meant to show up. Quests. Creations. It is installed. East Empire Company expansion. Weirdly, it doesn't actually tell you how to start this mod. I feel like it should tell you. So let's just fast travel to Whiterun. I don't see any NPCs coming over here. And hopefully someone will spawn in and be like, what's happening? <laughs> Has anyone else started this in the chat? Have you taken the $7 plunge? Oh, it's Katia. Oh my God. So this is another paid hey, mod that costs $4. Me. Sorry, Lydia. Um, it's time for us to part ways. I'll head back home if you need me. And I specific like I specifically wanted I her it? to sort of like showcase her at the same time as this mod. But she disappeared. And she was got like I was playing Skyrim today for like four hours, recording other stuff for other dungeons and other creations content. But she had disappeared completely, and I had no idea where she was or where to find her. And now she's just here again. Is she still following me? Wait, what? So she's still following me? What? What the hell? She is still my follower. We are sisters of battle. No, we're not sisters of battle. I am not a female. You should be. Ooh. So how am I meant to start this mod? I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to clear a dungeon and then. So this, let's see if I go in and out again if it works. I tried Katia mod. She hasn't appeared anywhere. Ah, oh, so it's clearly bugged. She appeared for me in Whiterun. Um, make sure you do have it installed. Like, go to your menu. Go to creations. And then check that it's actually active. There should be a tick next to it. Because I was, like, it took me a while to get this other mod to work. Because it wasn't loading up for some reason. And that, like, it hadn't even installed itself for some reason. Wait. How, how are there still bandits here? It said that it was clear. Okay, well, let's kill these bandits. Them than us. Is the location cleared? It says cleared. A bit of a lie, though, I think. Right, now let's exit again. Hopefully it works. Do you think they still have their coin on them? Or if not, I might have to go clear another dungeon. And then maybe it'll work. Do you think they still have their coin on them? I know she has 1,200 lines of dialogue, but she does repeat a lot of her dialogue, I've noticed. What do you want? Keep your thoughts to yourself. I mean, you can tell her to shut up, but I kind of like okay. her talking. I just don't want her to repeat the same thing over and over again. Start in the place above Whiterun where they killed the mammoth. What, like Bleakwind Basin or the Halter Stream Camp? Maybe go to a city and sleep at the inn or play at home. Okay, okay, I'll do that. I'll go to White Run and just sleep in my house, and then hopefully it'll work. Oh, they're reforming the dawn. Normally, that's like normally yeah, someone shows up and just starts the quest. Let's just try going to sleep. 
I feel like it's the worst. Like, if you rely on the courier to start your Skyrim quest, I feel like it's just a recipe for disaster. I think it's just much better if you if they add like a notice board to the game or something where you could just go and or like talk to an NPC and do this, and then it's just like a very clean trigger that works and it, it's reliable. Whereas otherwise, you end up in the situation where you're like, I want to start this quest specifically, but I can't. So I don't, I don't think that exists yet. There's not like a clean way to do that. That's no way to speak to your sister. <laughs> the halted stream camp was where it started for me. Okay, well, I'll try that after just... What the... F <laughs> well, that escalated quickly. What the hell? What's happening here? Katia, this is... Lydia, who was just chilling here naked, but naked while I was sleeping. Honored to see you again, my Thane. Yeah, I'm sure. Okay, I'm going to leave you two to it, and I'm going to go outside. Hopefully this person spawns, or if not, we'll clear the, ho the uh, halted camp. Yeah, no one's here that I can see. Got some good pieces out here if you're looking to buy. There's like four, four Stormcloak you know guards there Skyrim walking in a line. Days. Everyone is obsessed with There's death. Nazim. Okay, let's leave White Run and then we'll go there. See if it works. Okay, so it clearly, like, I think the intention is it starts after you clear a location. So maybe I've just got to do that. Clear a new dungeon and then it starts. Okay, thanks. Let me try that. I just want to quickly check outside so he's not, like, running towards me from the horizon or something. Oh my god, she just committed suicide. Jesus. All right, let's go and clear this location. I bet she is honored. Oh no, there's a dragon. Why is it whenever you want to clear a quick location, a dragon spawns? That's what you get for fast traveling. What they fighting about? I don't know. Who do you think will win? What do you mean? Who's fighting? <gasps> Get Rex on. Don't make me hurt you. No offense to the voice acting on Katia, but I do feel like this mage is out of control. Look at him. The mad. He's run out of magic pretty quick though. Look at him. Paralyzed forever. Oh my god, there's a dragon! Rex, son. It's a blood dragon. Katia's just taking that uh, fire damage to the face. He's attacking that random dude over there. Let's go and help out. Open the fortress gates. The mud crab, mud crab's squaring up to him as well. Does this disable trophies and achievements? Yes. Yes, it does. The Creation Club content didn't, but they've changed it now, so... So it does. What a view. Oh, he's landing. See if we can get some cheeky sneak attacks on him. They're losing the fan base. I mean, loads of people are still playing Skyrim, but a lot of people just download free mods. All right, the dragon's dead. I think we've cleared this location now. No, we've not. There must be like one guy here. Where is he though? Let's go inside and find out. Not that bad a life they have, boss. There's a mud crab here. Let's just kill everyone in it. And then hopefully we can begin this quest. You haven't missed anything yet, don't worry. Just use achievement mod enabler. Yeah, if you're on PC, like it's not a problem. You can just use mods to re-enable achievements. How dare you? A novice lock is no match for me. Easy. What's better, free mods or paid? There's literally no difference. I think that in itself is the problem. Have a sharp for a lot of people. Oh, <laughs> Long Gerexon. 
Oh, one sec. Is there a lantern? There is. Oh, dude. Damn you. Absolutely destroyed. Oh, she's using the forced. Somehow she hasn't spotted us, Katia. Okay, we've cleared this location. Let's... She is dead, yes? Yes, she is dead, I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure we killed her. Better than uh, what do you have? 100 gold. Enough? Maybe you have to, uh, to kill... Uh, ooh, bound book. Maybe you have to clear a location that is actually mineable. Maybe that is the issue. Oh, sorry, Katia. Sorry about that. <laughs> Little miss. Yeah. Coward. Here he is. Did you get trapped down this hole? Shakar. Ah, hello. I offer greetings to you, yes? Yes. Kajid asked but for a moment of your time. Feels like a door salesman, doesn't he? A pleasure to meet Kin so far from home. How am I a help? I appreciate that they've got um, actual race dialogue. That's something I rarely see. I respect it. I'm wary of strangers, but I shall hear what you have to say. What is it you want from me? Speak, my kin, but know I have my eye on you. My apologies. I did not mean to cause apprehension. I shall explain my encroachment. First of all, my name is Jagar. I work for an organization known as the East Empire Trading Company. This area I was busy surveying. When, to my surprise, I see someone enter this dungeon in a manner most brazen. And more surprising still, to see you emerge clearly victorious. Victorious may be an overstatement. I just did what I must. It's true, my triumph knows no bound. You doubted my ability? Explain yourself. It was no question of doubtfulness. Those who enter such places often do not return. During your venture, I'm sure you came across many trinkets and items of value. These places are usually filled with such. But some items you had to leave behind, yes? It is uh, impractical to carry out all that we might like. This is why I approached. Shagar wishes to offer you a service to assist with this problem. I'm gonna carry my goods. Let's hear it. What is this service? Take your sales pitch elsewhere. Yeah, the voice acting is really good. To be honest, it's one of those things, right, where like, as soon as you have good voice acting, it just blends in, and I don't even mention it because it just fits so well into Skyrim. But this guy sounds exactly like a Kaji, like insanely good quality. Definitely professional, as uh, I would have thought it should be, you know, for paying for something. So really good to see. Let's hear it. What is the service? In short, if you are to gather and then store all the items you wish to take from a place such as this, Shagar can ensure collection and delivery of all these items, allowing you to take your fill of plunder. This is the service I offer. And what would you want in return? Collection and delivery. Yeah, elaborate on what that means. Sounds like a scam to me. I can explain. Of all the treasure, armor, weapons, and shiny baubles you wish to take from somewhere, Usually this would require much feeling and emptying of pockets, many a journey to and from, much time and effort spent. What I offer is a service to alleviate this burden. All you'd need to do is gather everything you wanted to a single place. And then I would arrange couriers to pick up all these items and deliver them to a secure and easily accessed strongbox for your future retrieval. What would you want in return? It's quite a cool mechanic. I feel like that's always something we've always wanted in Bethesda games. They need to add this exact same thing to Starfield because, my God, I've never spent longer in a menu than I have in Starfield. To the point where, like, I just stopped picking up stuff because it was really annoying to just always be over-encumbered constantly. I don't know why it was so annoying in that game compared to any Bethesda game I've ever played before, but, man... This would be a blessing in Starfield. What do you want in return for this service of yours? 
You are wise to know I would want something. Yes, in exchange for providing you this service. I would ask that you allow my Once group, Lydia. East Empire <laughs> Company, to lay a temporary claim to any territory you have cleared. Holy moly, is that Once the British Mary Empire? Has been purge of hostile presence, I would dispatch a clerk to survey and catalog the site's value. So you're just going to plant a flag? But do not misunderstand. We would not be taking any items or treasure. Through your efforts, these, of course, would belong to you. Your terms are fair, I agree to them. No, this is this is a scam. Tell me about this East Empire Trading Company. Is this how they operate? Like, no wonder they're so rich. In truth, I have not been with the company long. I am a junior trader. But I can tell you that the East Empire is a large and powerful group. It has many branches across the face of Damriel and is responsible for a vast amount of trade. However, its presence in Skyrim is not as secure as it could be. Shakar intends to change this. I see. And why would you not want any treasure? I would like to take all the treasure for myself, of course. <laughs> but I believe the best business transactions leave all involved parties satisfied. Since you will be doing most of the work, it is only fair all the spoils go to you. Otherwise, your incentive to help me is not so much. Treasure is nice, but long-term and stable profit is better. You're a very good door-to-door -door salesman, Shakar. Why do you want to survey the places I clear, anyway? There is value to places beyond the objects held within. Such a Neanderthal. Example, its location may have strategic importance. There may be natural resources or historical and cultural significance to the area. These things have worth. But first, these aspects must be correctly identified and then recorded. It is a matter of bureaucracy, one might say. That is why I wish to lay a temporary claim to these places. Temporary? She's going to be taking land from Skyrim and her people while the Empire and Stormcloaks battle here. Well, I'm going to agree with you. Ah, this news is wonderful. You have made a good decision, I think. Here, you must take these. What's this? Place the relic inside a container, and I'll be made aware of its location and of ah. your desire for the items held within to be transported. That's how they do it. Anything gathered will be moved to an East Empire trade camp for your future collection. Of course, right now, there is only the one camp. But in time, there shall be more. Very good. I shall put these devices to good use. What are these devices you've given me? Didn't he just explain it? Mm. I am unsure. It is something discovered by my business associate, but he too knows little of them. What we do know is that the relic you hold react with another kind of apparatus, one that I have right here. When roused, the relic I gave you behave as... beacons, emitting bright light into a dark sky. I speak figuratively, of course. The apparatus that I hold allows me to see where that light is coming from, and acts much like a compass, guiding me to the light source. Very well. I should put these devices to good use. You only have one trade camp. Mm, to be more exact, officially, the camp is not truly a part of the East Empire's mercantile presence in Skyrim. At least not yet. Instead, the current camp, and the more that shall be built, represent a personal endeavor but have no fear in time there shall be more camps i'd bet my whiskers on it very well i should put these devices to good use shakar has certainty that you will also i should mention any area in which you use a relic must be either cleared of any hostile creatures or be out within the open Ah. Otherwise, my couriers will be unable to gather what you have stored. Out in the open. And remember, once collected, your items will be available from any current or future trade camp you send them to. Can I use them to... Have you understood all I have said? 
If you wish, we can test out a relic right now. So you may see how they work. Yes, please, let's do that. A demonstration would be welcome. Please, show me how these relics work. I, it'd be cool if we can like go and like rob up Rifton and then like put all of the stolen goods in a barrel and then they just go and like take them and transport them out of the city for you. <laughs> that would be very useful, especially if they had this in Starfield and I can put all my my illegal drugs and narcotics in my spaceship and get like some smugglers to smuggle it out of um, the city of Neon for me or something. That'd be great. <laughs> the demonstration shall be nice and simple. Yes. First, take this. We can use this junk for our test. Now, let us enter an area you have cleared. Or, for that matter, any other place with a container we can use. Then, all you need to do is place that junk and the relic inside of a suitable receptacle. Lead on, and I shall follow. Okay, let's go. Shall we put it in this high elf? Place... Uh, the relic and some items to deliver in a container with the halted stream camp. Within the halted stream camp, did it say? I'm gonna place it on someone's body. These bandits looking for another, maybe? Hey, boss. Any thoughts? Nope. Okay. Okay. Yep. Skyrim is a detailed grave robbing simulator for sure he's just gonna walk over all the traps in there isn't he let's put it in this mammoth um i don't know if this is gonna work but broken iron mace handle where was the other junk okay Uh, add additional items to the container that you'd like to have delivered to you. Oh, so it has to be additional items. Okay, I'm going to put a gold ingot in there. So remember that, guys. Um, some madness ore. <laughs> Meridia's beacon. <laughs> oh, we can't. <laughs> that would have been such a meme. Uh, okay. Might run out of bandits to kill. Yes. Sooner or later. Now everything I have. And these items shall be returned to camp. You are free to follow me if you wish. See to where your items will be delivered. Should we follow him? Yeah, show me your camp. As you desire. Follow me then. Wait, how are you gonna... You can't get out that way. Are we going? Hmm? Okay, he's, he's going. He's going. Look, boss. He was just waiting for me. Oh, here we go. Here we go, boys. Take that object. What is she talking about? Gold goes in the circle, yes. Katia Bandits. is on a and then to us. Better Katia is on us. a different level. Now is not the time for chatting. The camp awaits. Okay, go on. <laughs> well, you're the one you're not talking to me. <laughs> Just find a chest, not a mammoth's body. What do you mean? We have to push the motto of the limits. He's stuck on the roots. Go on, you can do it. Go on, son. Ah, oh, Skyrim, you're letting me down. Don't fall over, boss. <laughs> He's looting mud crabs. Don't mind my foot, boss. That's quite funny. I got a bug after I followed him. Okay, well, I'll save the game then. He looks very lost. I don't even know if he knows where his camp is. <laughs> it's a long walk. I've got time. It's actually not that far. Surely it's near Whiterun, isn't it? I'm pretty sure it must be outside Whiterun. Should I fuss radar him? <laughs> Make it a bit... F oh my god, I almost killed him. In my veins. No, 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 Kalia, Kalia, no! You better run. No. Getting a little bored, boss. Done? <laughs> he, don't know if he, he's really happy about that. Oh, no. 
Okay, okay. This is why I saved the game. I would boot Katia immediately. Why is she talking non-stop, lol? I gotta get my $4 worth, bro. I want to mention the other thing. When you want to start EEC, you have to clear a location to trigger Shakar. If you run in and out of a location, he will glitch and disappear. Oh, really? That's interesting. I did that, but it didn't seem to even spawn him. And then it worked on the next location I cleared. We failed. He ate that arrow. He was happy about it too, man. You will make a fine rug, cat. <laughs> Get Lydia back, please. Oh, I just love Lydia. She is the best. Look at how beautiful the sky looks, man. I will gladly pay for these mods if Bethesda will give me back the money I paid for this. Oh, dear. You didn't enjoy Starfield then. I do think, like, a lot of people did really enjoy Starfield, but I don't think they were necessarily the same people that enjoyed Bethesda's other games. It was very... I found Starfield quite different to... Uh, the Elder Scrolls and Fallout series. Just in terms of exploring, it was a very different game. But um, there's still a community, a community of people that really enjoyed it. Yeah, I think it was successful for different reasons. Okay, uh, your camp... Oh, his camp is nearby because I can see the unmarked location. I could, <laughs> I could see Khajiit.exe just struggling to figure out that, that rock in the way there. I think we're almost there. Let's save in case something goes wrong. Goods and wares of all kind, and all can be oh, damn. What's going on here? A different kind of Khajiit camp there. Clearly funds are low. <laughs> this war is as stupid as our feud with Clan Grey. Okay, this is his camp. We're here. Let's get a torch out. I can't see a thing. Who's this random NPC here? Are you going to introduce me? It's just a bunch of boxes. Embarrassing. He's still trying to get to the camp. <laughs> this one needs something. These sands are cold, but Khajiit feels warmness from your presence. Careful. <laughs> Oh! There, just as a courier would. I have placed the items in the delivery chest. Available for retrieval whenever you wish. Let's have a look. You've stolen everything! You are an absolute scumbag. I can't believe I trusted you. He's literally stolen everything! Uh, this one needs something. I need my stuff back. What the hell, bro? I thought he just died. <laughs> He's just gone to bed. How can I assist? Hmm? I want my stuff back. You just stole everything from me. How can I assist? How can I? These sands are cold. But can <laughs> He's just—he just, he just pretending I don't exist anymore. He's going to sleep. Who's this guy with the pots yes. and pans? Let me see what of you have course. for sale. He's selling soul gems. East Empire Company relics. Do I have any of those? They're in the miscellaneous section. So I need to buy them? They're worth 200. Oh, this is a scam. He's scamming me. I'll take nine, please. Wait, they weigh 0 0.5 each. That's actually quite heavy. I, I can't believe he did that to me. Pick up your items. I Let's wait an hour. Once mixed up oh, it's here. Oh, thank God. It took him one business day. 
You guys are right. I just had to wait an hour. Now I get my bliss bug in a jar back, which I can obviously eat. Eat that raw mammoth map. You see how everything is in the delivery chest, yes? <laughs> everything is to your satisfaction. You absolutely played me for a fool. Pretending to sleep there. Just trolling me, man. Is there any reason I shouldn't be satisfied? I had hoped a few extra gems would find their way into the chest. <laughs> yes, of course. <laughs> ah, that is something we all hope for. Sadly, the storage chest only contains items we used for testing. But who knows? Perhaps next time there will be some extra knickknacks inside. Courtesy of the East Empire Company. But before that, a question. If you have the desire for more relics, you can acquire them from any East Empire merchant. I will ensure they always keep some in stock. Yeah, for price. Well, now here, take these. On the house. But uh, all this said, I still fear there is more I can offer. Forgive Akajit's curiosity, only... Would you perhaps be interested in more services? Mm, that depends. What is your offer? You have already seen how my collection service works, and this is good. I would debate that. But maybe there would be times that possession of all you have gathered is not what you desire. Perhaps you would prefer the item's value in septims instead. Always. But for this, you must gather what you wish to sell and find merchant, haggle for price, blah, 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 be kidding. However, Shakar can do all this for you instead. I offer service of selling. Put items in container, and instead of marking for collection, mark for sale. And everything I can take care of. Does this interest you? This is incredible. Dude, this is such a sick mechanic because like, so there's always been an issue in Skyrim, which is easy to get around to be fair. But the problem is whenever you go to merchants and you have leveled up to like level 60 and you have all this really expensive stuff, which is worth like 2000 or 3000 gold each, you sell it to the merchant who only has a limit of like 5000 gold. So after you've sold your stuff, they have zero money. And then you go and sell the stuff to the other merchants, but then everyone in the city's run out of gold, and you would no longer have anyone else you could sell stuff for. So you have to reset the shopkeeper's inventory, which you can do by saving the game, punching them in the face, and then reloading, and then it resets their gold. In Starfield, you can't actually do that, by the way. You have to, like, travel away, wait on another planet that has um, UTC time travels faster, and then, like, wait there for, like, an hour, like on Venus, for example. And then you can go back to the merchant. They'll have more credits to buy your stuff um but it's a very annoying process and it really you know why not just give all the vendors more credits it would just be much better for the gameplay so this removes that as being a problem in a law friendly way with him selling our, our stuff i don't know how it works yet but i think it's, it's your cool stuff brings me joy that they should add Tell to starfield have you thought more of my offer to sell your items yes yes i want to see how this works explain further of course my you have already used the relics to mark items for collection, and the results you have seen. However, with a few manipulations to the relic, a container can be marked so I will know you wish the items to be sold instead of just collected. In a situation such as this, I would have my courier bring back your items, and I would begin to find buyers right away. You get almost as much coin as if you sold yourself. And with none of the headache or time wasted. Yeah, he's a very good salesman. I would definitely use this service. Yeah, it doesn't sound like you get much of a cut, though. What's the catch? Uh, you notice this. Your shrewdness serves you well. Yes. Outside of trade expenses, I will be skimming nothing from the sale of your items. This will maximize your personal profit. Why would I do this, you ask? Simple. By being the one to sell your items, I establish reputation as a merchant able to acquire and move inventory. If applied correctly, this reputation has more value than coin. 
Well, it's not going to mean you can eat, is it? At least they're not like Bethesda taking 70% of um, the income from my sales. This sounds useful. I would have use of such a service. Ah, wonderful. A decision most deserving. And something that shall benefit us both, I think. If you wish for me to sell what you have gathered, when placing a relic, simply mark the container. This will indicate to me your intent. And once collected, I will begin to sell your items right away. Right away? Or you can simply speak to one of our camp merchants if you wish me to sell something else. Any coin made shall be stored in one of our company's strong boxes. You can find this also at our outposts. Ah, this little shack with boxes, you mean? You'll need this key to open. Okay, let's let's do this. I expect this all to be on the level. What does that mean? Have no fear. There will be no black market dealings. I don't yet have the connections. <laughs> You should know, the more items of yours I can sell, the greater commercial connections I will establish. I'm gonna go rob someone now. This will allow me to offer improvements to the services I provide you. So, make sure to send plenty of items my way, yes? Of course. Oh, and before you take your leave, there is one more thing. If you are so inclined... Another? There is something you could help me with. I have no interest in helping you. Yeah, right. What do you want? I have a business associate. He is not one for travel, and so resides at the East Empire Company warehouse in Solitude. Both he and I have certain aspirations we are working towards. They're smugglers. However, I fear with your help, things would advance a lot faster and smoother. If you've the time and desire, you should travel to Solitude and speak with him. I'm sure he would have use for your assistance. He should be easy to find. He's a rather self-important looking Altmar named Corin. Tell him I have sent you. And thank you. With your help, ahead, I see a warm future for us all. Okay, where's the strong box at? Why are you drinking on the book? So currently we have no money in here. Yeah, so if you want to sell separate things, I assume you just tag two separate containers. So it's currently nighttime. Let's go back into White Run to start robbing Nazim or something. And um, let's see if we can put stolen goods in there. <laughs> Heard they're reforming the Dawn God. Oh, did you really? The, the Dawn God? No way. Okay, this this is an adept lock. No worries. Got 90 lockpicks, boys. Should be able to make this work. Oh, oh. E oh, come on, man. That was like kissing the nips. Surely. There we go. Beautiful. Read the book. That guard is still talking to me, and I'm just there, like, just straight up, like, robbing them. I'm gonna rob um, War Maidens blind. Wait, I can't take this. I never knew those were f ah! Don't don't move, don't move. All right, so if I put this, uh, so I need to put the miscellaneous item, the East Empire Company relic. You cannot equip this store. I want to put one in here. Ah, okay. So now you have an option to. Change to. So it's going to me at the moment. So if I change it to. To the East Empire Merchant. Or I can change it back to a car. Okay, so I'm going to send a shipment of items for sale that are stolen. Okay, let's, let's see if we put the weapons that are stolen in here. Uh... Yeah, I just stole that great sword. It is tagged with stolen good. And the stolen iron dagger. And I think there was some stolen clothes, yeah. 
Might as well sell this ring and these boots. So pretty much everything I put in there was stolen. Now we leave. And now, now a Khajiit courier will break in and steal those goods and sell them for me. So we've essentially removed ourselves as the middleman. I am now just a master thief. I've broken the system. So how long does that take? I mostly deal with petty thief. I only use the cheap room for height and I am seven feet Nord Giga Chad. Can you even fit for a doorway though? That's the problem. Can we actually see him like pick up stuff or not? Okay, completed. Give the merchant to put items up for sale. Give him time to sell your items. Are you done? I ponder still the origin of the relics. It is a mystery indeed. They look like they're from Aelid Ruins or something. Uh, hmm? I have some items to put up for sale. Of course. So I can give him it like more items to sell. But right now I just want to see if he sells the current stuff. Next time. So let's just wait like a day. You okay? You're like moonwalking there on the spot. EEC is actually a lot of fun. Works great in addition to so the farmhouse with anniversary edition as well. The farmhouse. Do you mean like um, the Eleonora house mod? Ask him to show you what he has for sale. Um, I can do that again, too. Okay. Uh, completed. Return and collect what your share you of the sales. Cat? Why is he saying that? Do, what do you want, cat? <laughs> it's empty. View the ledger. Mind controlled and sights controlled zero. He sold one item and made ten gold. Why is my count cut only free? What? Oh. I want say this is isn't is that the stuff we stole? Not the gems, but the iron dagger and still gray sword is here and they're no longer marked as stolen. I thought it automatically gave it to him to sell. Hmm. Or actually course. have to give it to him. Right, let me just give him the stuff to sell. Of course. Clearly, I was a bit confused of how this actually works, because... Oh, one sec. I can't give him the weapons I just picked up. Where's the steel grey eye? Grey sword, sorry. I do have it, don't I? Yeah, steel grey sword. Oh, it counts I... as stolen, so I can't give it to him. So instead, they put it in here. Ah, so they won't sell your stolen goods for you, but they will take them out of any location you steal them from. So that's still pretty awesome. Are you eating and drinking bread at the doing? same time? <laughs> what the f- <laughs> Why are you so angry? What can I do for you? Oh, so you're the guy who robbed them for us. You're a very sneaky uh, man, aren't you? The dawn guard. My cousin's out fighting dragons, and what do I get? God duty. We've got all the NPCs yes? here. Okay, well, yes. let's let's start the next part of the quest then. Return to the East Empire camp near White Run to collect your share of the sales. It said that it had gold, but it wasn't in here. Oh, yeah, it's here now. We've got free gold, dude. So they take seventy percent of the money. Is that actually like a bit of a meme from Bethesda because they take seventy percent of the sales? 
Because it says in the ledger that I sold one item, we made 10 gold profit, and I only get free gold. So is that kind of like, is that meant to be a bit of a dig? They sell it for you, but you actually only get 30% of the sales. You are free. That's very convenient. Yes. <laughs> I love this little setup. Apparently it improves over time if you like keep what selling stuff and whatnot. Very cool. All right. I mean, what I'm going to do then is um, there was someone at the East Empire Company warehouse called Corin that I was meant to speak to. And we can also just get a bunch of valuable stuff and uh, market for for lootings. But I want to continue with the main story first. So let's go to the, the warehouse over here. One of the items you sold you wasn't stolen. Brothers. Deja has no words for you. Ah, Shut up. Yes. Hello to you. Jesus Christ. You'll have to forgive me. I'm rather preoccupied. Watch it. You're very tall. You can't just walk up to me and be like, watch it. Disgusting. We are working on on the Elder Scrolls Oblivion mod list. It's taking a while. It's not me actually working on it, but I will publish it when it is um, finished. Once we check everything over. We're also updating the Skyrim one too, so that's kind of priority again. Oh, they're actually finally using this area as a shop. That's good to see. What is it? Dragons? He's even got curved swords. Hello, my man. Ah, yes. Hello to you. Why is he so handsome? You'll have to forgive me. I'm rather preoccupied. Thus, I have no desire for idle chip chat. His voice acting is very good as well. You're Corinne, yes? Shakar said me to speak with you. Oh. So you're the one Shikar spoke of in his latest correspondence. Another Khajiit, I see. As if Shikar alone was not already enough. But yes, you were correct in your observation. I am indeed Corinne. A pleasure, I'm sure. Now, if Shikar sent you here, that likely means he thinks you of use to us. And I see no reason to question this. Tell me, did the enterprising young Khajiit explain the nature of his and my endeavor? Nope, not really. He mentioned something about you being business associates. Dirty Thalma. He spoke of your intention to sell ice to Nords. Big money in that, I <laughs> <laughs> Nice to see a little cynicism. Make sure to maintain that attitude of yours, and it will serve you well. Okay. Shikar likes to refer to us as business associates, but in truth, we're both merely junior traders of the East Empire Company. Right now, both he and I are on the lowest rungs of the mercantile ladder. But we've agreed to help each other accelerate our commercial career. Sounds dodgy. From what I understand, in exchange for his services, you've already begun assisting Shikar. His Little project is rather simple, but I'll admit, quite creative. I personally would have never thought to utilize the relics in the way he has. My plans, however, are a little more ambitious. How elitist. And I would welcome your assistance. Alright, what's your plan? And tell me more about those relics, actually. Ah, yes, the relics. Thusly named because... Well, we have no idea what they are or where they came from. Many crates of the things were inexplicably shipped here, and with no accompanying paperwork, we had no choice but to hold on to them. Months passed, and with no inquiries coming our way, I thought it may be prudent to perhaps find a private buyer for the curious devices. However, Attempting to sell such volume, and with us being relatively unknown in the world of trade, this proved to be next to impossible. At least, doing so without drawing unwanted attention to us. That's when Shikar had his idea to instead use the devices to help us build a reputation and then sell the relics. Smart. That Khajiit is smarter than he looks. Well, let's hear about your plan. So, the Creation Club content, right now, the East Empire Company, I think it was like $8 or something. Eight, was it 700 or 800 Creation Club points? Basically, every 100 Creation Club points equals $1. So, 
So that is the current price. But as of the 12th of December, they're going to be increasing the price of the Creation Club points. And I think they're even going to rename them um, to something else. Randall, thank you so much for the $20 donation. Canadian dollars. Appreciate it, dude. Dude, that literally covers all of the Skyrim DLC I have to buy, I think. So thank you so much. I appreciate that. Here's a few septums. Been watching your Skyrim videos for years. Glad I could make the stream. Thank you. Let's hear about this plan of yours, then. You see, the East Empire's position in Skyrim is tenuous. Our presence is tolerated at best, and we're severely limited in our operations. Officially, I'm not even sure we're sanctioned to be here. So, as you can imagine, our profit margin is as diluted as the wine at the Winking Skeever. If. But, if we had the approval to do business directly from a Yarl, we'd then be free to expand our activities within each hold. Solidifying the East Empire's position, creating profit for all concerned, not to mention demonstrating our worth to our employers. And so, I've been attempting to arrange unofficial meetings, so that we may come to an understanding with the many Jarls of this vast province. Not sure I agree on your tactics, but the results would benefit all, I think. Unofficial meetings, eh? Probably the only kind that can get results. I have no concern for the ethics. <laughs> Are you sure you've not run a business before? With a temperament like that, I wouldn't be surprised if you had. Anyhow, I doubt you'll be surprised to hear most Jarls want nothing to do with an upstart High Elf under the employ of a foreign organization. Nevertheless, we have had interest from at least one hold. Ah. The Jarl of Winterhold, Courier, has agreed to speak with us. Winterhold is generally viewed as one of the more desolate holds, a pale Hold. shadow of its former glory, which may explain their willingness to talk. I was intending to speak with Winterhold's Jarl myself, but I feel you may get better results. You may not be of this land, but you are also not of the East Empire Company. That alone should provide you with more favorable disposition. Why? I mean... So, what I ask of you is this. Visit Winterhold on my behalf, and attempt to acquire the Jarl's approval for our presence within their hold. In exchange, I will provide you a percentage of the wealth and materials we will acquire as a result. Sound fair? Oh, so this is how I get materials from them. Alright. Wealth and materials, you say? Yeah, tell me more about that first. Shikar has already explained his desire to survey areas you have cleared. This is correct? If the Jarls agree to let us operate within their borders, any locations you have cleared there can be exploited for whatever materials they may hold. Or trinkets, gems. Whatever we find will be shared with you. That's pretty cool. There's a 30% of what you find. Let's do it. Very good. Here, take this. A I've history of winter. Some research into this particular Jarl. And I have the feeling that book I gave you, if offered as a gift, may help smooth negotiations to our favor. Bit of an insult, isn't it? However, if you feel other tactics may be more apt, I will refer to your judgment. Just get the Yarl to agree to our presence within their hold. Alright, we can do that. Easy enough. I trust that you will. I wish you luck. Oh! And have this, too. That ring marks you as someone empowered to speak on our behalf. It'll also get you a discount with most merchants. Enjoy. Nice. So this really fleshes out the East Empire Company faction, which really didn't have that much relevance in Skyrim anyway. So uh, it's really cool to see so far. I'm really enjoying it. Uh, where's the ring at, though, you just gave me? Also, I've noticed with um, both the Khajiit and also um, the uh, High Elf, they have animations like that they sometimes go into during dialogue that just makes them seem quite real. Prices are 15% better. Let's go, boys. I must admit, I'm starting Get to feel quite a coin or two for here. this, maybe? 
Oh, you just picked that up. For the Empire. It's useless junk. Wait, what the hell? I don't have time for anyone too lazy or cowardly. Sorry. Why do they look exactly the same? Um, so we got to go to Winterhold. It's over here. Speak to the Yar. We'll give him a history book about his own hold. That won't offend him. Sure, this will go down like a tree. Psst. Hey, that ring. You're working with Corin, right? Jesus Christ. I've got more intel for him. Might as well give it to you. Don't worry, it's on the house. The word around town is that Jarl Korir has got a real bone to grind with a local mage college. Kinky. If you want to get on his good side, try badmouthing them in his presence. Who knows? Might help your negotiations. Who's this shady contact? In my experience, Jarls love bootleggers, agreeing with them. But whatever, you do what you want. Have fun. Hmm. So we've got all the tools to win this negotiation. Who are that you? That was all I had. Why are you so... Why is everyone on this mod so tall? Uh... I need a arrow. This is the frozen hearth. That's a that pub. All I, had. Just a little sharp. I think we got to wait a few hours before it opens. Is this your Akar character? It is indeed. Akar the Khajiit has returned. But where art thou, Lydia? A little what polish? You're doing. I'm you literally like just standing here for soon, seven hours, bro. You lost. My job is to serve the Jarl, not waste time talking with travelers. Brother, I am here. Let's save before we mess up. What's your business here in Winterhold? My friend, I'm here to negotiate. Wait. Mm -hmm. Is that not an option? Convince the Yar using the tip about their feelings. Give the Yarl a book. How do I speak yes? to him? Okay, now I can, the dialogue just changed. But we've never met him before, so... You're the Yarl. I'm looking for work. I'm representing the East Empire Company. They wish to operate within your hold. You have my attention. Please take 250 septums so that you know they are serious. Here, I'd like to offer you this book as a gesture of goodwill. You're very wise to invite the East Empire into your hold. Illusion. <laughs> my illusion skill is too high. Wouldn't that be a speech skill? Winterhold needs this if it's to escape the shadow of the damn mages. Yeah, I know what you mean. If things don't start getting better soon. So we have a deal. The East Empire Company has your blessing. I think he would have said yes to like every option. By all means, go about your business. Mm -hmm. well, that was easy. I don't know why I made such a fuss about that. No sweat, bro. Let's go back to Corinne and then we can get this business underway. I want to know more about a shady contact, though. There it is. Katia is fun, but she's kind of chatty. She does repeat herself quite a bit. You talk to Egg Brothers. Is that a body? Vija has no words for you. Oh no, just some boots. Why is it so bloody dark in here? What do you? Well, if you can't see anything, I just wait until daytime. Yeah, but is that my illusion skill or like my lying skill? It just seems a bit vague. Doing. I've already received word. Winterhold has agreed to our presence. Well done. And I see you didn't even have to gift them the book I gave you. Impressive. Feel free to keep the book. Maybe sell it for coin. I must say, I'm very pleased with your progress. Competence can be such a rare commodity these days. The R was very eager. I just offered him a little encouragement. You are wise to send me. Someone else would have made a mistake. You've done well. We'll now be able to build a camp within Winterhold's borders, expanding our operations. But this is just the start. We need the blessing of more holds. 
If you'd be willing, I'd ask you to keep representing the East Empire. Speak to more Jarls and gain their favor. The more holds that agree to our terms, the more that we can do for you. Hmm. Of course. We have my help. Well, in return, I guess we get the materials, but let's push him. Each hold we're able to operate within can have a dedicated camp able to retrieve the items you have Shikar collect. Naturally, this would present you with more options as to where to send your items. Also, with each new camp, we'll be able to gather materials from the places you've cleared out within the local area. This is a great. Of these materials will be passed along to you. For survival mode, this is incredibly useful. I'm pleased to hear this. We'll help out, of course. There are eight more Jarls that will need convincing. But I doubt they'll be as receptive as Courier. I'd advise you not to be narrow-minded with your approach to gaining approval. There are plenty of ways to twist a person's arm. If you've the need, I can supply intel to aid you. Just check the ledger at an outpost after visiting the Holt's capital. And I'll provide what I can. Ooh, cheeky. Travel the province. Speak to the Arls. Get as many to accept our presence as you are able. White Run already has a camp, but we'll still need the blessing of the local Yarl. Oh, and don't forget our furry friend Shikar. Be sure to keep assisting him as well. One more thing. If you've not already done so, you should speak with Orthus, an employee of the East Empire residing in Windhelm. Assist him with his little problem, and it'll be of benefit to us all. I wish you luck. Goodbye for now. Oh, okay. That's yeah, very unique. Forming the Dawn Guard. Vampire hunters or something. Watch in it. the old fort near Riften. Watch it. Might consider <laughs> joining up myself. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You're all the same, you guards. Watch it. What you're doing? Okay, okay, okay. All right, let's have a look on the map here. There's a miscellaneous quest to speak with Orithus. Next. So we can go check him out. We can actually go and speak to the Jarl here. See if we can get um, a nice little store outside the city. Oh, I, you know, Skyrim compared to Starfield, like without a doubt, Skyrim easily is, is the better game. I think the reviews speak for themselves in that sense. Wait. Um, and also, it's no secret the Aretino boy I'm is just... doing some ritual, trying to call the Dark Brotherhood. Okay, bro. But who's going um, to stop him? I think Me? that. I'll have no part of that. Because I love fantasy games, that it's always just going to be a win any fantasy game for me. Yes, make it. Bra, that's so that's so embarrassing. I can't believe he just left me like that. Where's he gone? He's actually done a runner. Yes, make it quick. I'm a busy man. I represent the East Empire Company, and I need permission to operate in your hold. Is that so? It is. One thousand two hundred septons. I suppose that's the fairest deal we're likely to get. Ah, oh, he's taking it. God, 12,000. It was 12,000. I was fucking dyslexic on that completely. Oh, I didn't count those zeros. So the East Empire Company, they have your permission to work in East March. I bloody well hope so. I just paid 12 grand for the permission. I will honor your request. Are you better? Okay, so they're, they're there. We're done. Hopefully we can make that back by robbing things. No one saw that. Don't don't worry. We need to take all this stuff back so we can afford to live here. The cruel seas have been sailors for generations. In truth, I regret not following in the footsteps of my. Why ancestors. are you here? I hope there won't be any loading screens in the Elder Scrolls Six. Well, so consider. I think. The problem with Starfield wasn't that it had loading screens at all. The problem was is that like the loading screens fragmented the exploration gameplay to the point where like you spent like, you know, 
if you fast traveled in the wrong way, you would spend quite a lot of time looking at several different loading screens with like little steps in between them, which feels more frustrating than just looking at one loading screen, you know, like to load one thing. Um, so I think loading screens you could still get away with, but they just have to be like done in the right way. Um, and Starfield, from what people say, what's not? Ah, oh, yes, I forgot that the East Empire Company docks were even here. We've got to break in. Do I not have a key? Right. Guess we'll just wait till morning. Surely it's open now. You totally didn't see that 12k fly away. I felt I it. know this place looks horrible. Please, don't hold it against the company. Dude, what happened here? Why is it so run down? That's another yeah. quest, isn't Until it? Until next time. Well, actually... No, we do need to speak to you. The voice acting on this game is so... Like, on this mod is so good that... I thought this guy was just another quest in Skyrim. Like a different NPC that I didn't need to talk to. I'm so used to people just handing me notes. Sad, isn't it? We can't afford to keep the place running since these attacks started. Pirates, you see. Oh, cool. Raiding all along the coast, from Hammerfell to Vardenfell. Only the Shatter Shields appear safe. Ah, so they're probably br brought into it. Who are the Shatter Shields? A very powerful family in Windhelm. They run a private shipping operation and would love to have the docks to themselves. Wouldn't surprise me if they were in league with the pirates somehow. Do you have proof of that? Not yet, no. But perhaps an intrepid person such as yourself could help with that? This is they a vanilla quest, isn't elf it? who oversees their operations. She's mit... If it were to somehow it is. end You're up right. in my hands, Yeah, rise in the east. I wouldn't argue. Mm-hmm. So why did the game want me to come here? Or it's just, it's kind of like thrown that into the Creation Club content as a quest marker because it kind of makes sense. It's like a law-friendly way of that working. Let's see if they added the um, the shipment area in front of Windhelm. I can't see it on the map. The wind blows bitter cold in this place. Those are other quests. The air is so clear in Skyrim. One can see forever. Okay. Interesting. Alright, let's just go to another hold then and see if we can convince another Jarl. Um, and I actually might buy stuff to sell. Just for the sake of progressing the mod faster. I'm going to go to Falkreath. Falkreath has nothing going for it. We'll convince the Yar here that he needs us desperately. Why is she naked? I don't know. Your guess is as good as mine. She's got fur, I guess. So technically she doesn't need clothing. It's misty in Falkreath. Ah, there's the Yarl's longhouse. Did you see a dog out there? No. Did you see a dog out there? No, stop asking me. Did Can't you see both a dog ask. Out there? <laughs> Did you see, you see a, dog a dog out, out there? there? Leave me alone. Did you, you see a dog out there? <laughs> Did you see a dog out there? <laughs> I'm trying to speak to the no, Yarl. Dumb as you look. Okay, great. I'm here from the East Empire Company. We want to operate in your hold. <laughs> What's so good about them, huh? Their presence could see Falkwith flourish. Persuade him. No. No, I can't. Why not? I offer Falkwith a donation of 2,000 septums from the East Empire. Little coin always greases the wheels. So I can tell them that we can operate within Falkwith then. By my right, as Jarl, I am hereby granting you permission to do it. To do it! If you're sympathetic to the Empire, you'll be wise to put Falkreath far behind you. 
Did you see a dog out here? Bloody hell, get me out of here. Did you see a dog out Leave me alone. Did you see oh a my dog god. Out? Let me out. <laughs> Did you see a dog out there? Yeah, they're reforming the dawn guard. Oh, it's the, the, it's the dog or the dawn guard. Secret entrance into the prison. Right. Let's, um... I don't know if I have to go back to Solitude and tell them that the Yarl is accepted or not. Dude, Ender Out is an incredible mod. Absolutely loved Out it. With it. A network. Accounting and bookkeeping are essential skills for any successful merchant. Probably one of the best free games I've ever played. I mean, to be honest, I think if you look at how much money Grand Theft Auto Online makes from all the paid content they release, uh, Microsoft and Bethesda clearly wanted some of that microtransaction profit, and they've been trying to monetize Skyrim with mods for ages. At least now, mod creators are finally getting a share of the revenue they make from the mods on there. And I believe that mod creators should have a way of supporting themselves. How it's been done, um, I couldn't really think of a better way to do it myself. And, you know, people can just not buy stuff. Um, I don't think it's going to replace free mods, these paid mods. I think that some of the paid mods are lower quality than free mods. Um, not necessarily the one I'm playing. It seems to be very well implemented. But, like, it's, it's like one of those things, right? Like, if you imagine, like I was saying to my wife, uh, the other day who like grew up playing like the Elder Scrolls games we grew up like modding Oblivion as kids um, learning sort of how that works because it was all free and accessible um, and I think there's some things like that I think about this as well with like Warhammer like I'm a really big Warhammer fan but I, that um, as a miniature hobby who also likes painting and stuff that's become so inhibitive the price that you have to pay for those miniatures um, and I just, I wouldn't want that to happen to Skyrim uh, or like the modding community. But I think that the modding community will largely just remain free. And there'll be some people who can now support themselves by doing what they love as mod authors. I think that's a good thing. Um, obviously, people don't need to buy the stuff if they don't want it. I'm just here to review it so you guys can actually see the gameplay of it. Because currently, there's not really any gameplay of it on YouTube. Like an unbiased, fair review in that sense. Um, but I'm neither for it or against it. What I am for, though, is mod supporters being able to support themselves. Um, and this system gives them an option to actually do it legally. Because uh, to be honest, like if you were a mod creator using Patreon to support yourself, you probably weren't going to make a living off creating mods. Um, it's just not the way it works. And we've seen this with Minecraft as well. There's like a Microsoft Minecraft store um, where there's lots of paid content. And that obviously sells, but there's also lots of free Minecraft content still. So I suspect Skyrim will be the exact same. Hopefully we'll see the quality of these paid mods also improve. Um, because obviously you've got to encourage someone that they actually want to pay for the content you're making. Like, it needs to be really unique, fleshed out, and something that you, you kind of want to spend money on, you know? Because right now there's so much free stuff that you're kind of like, okay, well, if I can get all this other stuff for free and carry on playing the free stuff, what's the point in buying the paid stuff? And because of that, we'll probably see the quality of paid mods increase. Because otherwise people would just vote with their feet, wouldn't they? They don't want to pay $4 for an armor mod, for example. And they can just get hundreds of really high quality 4K texture ones for free. So, yeah, like, I, I wouldn't worry about it in that sense. It will work itself out. Um, but I think it's important to look at this stuff and review it. Because I can afford to buy this stuff and play it where other people can't. Um, and I think some people will watch this video and be like, oh, actually, this is really cool content. I might actually consider buying it. And other people will be like, oh, well, that's not for me. Um, so, yeah, I'm just checking it out, though. It's interesting. I think the future will just see loads of free pay and loads of paid mods. Um, and we'll see where that takes us. But I don't think it will necessarily be a detriment and ruin the modding community completely. It's already happened with Minecraft, and, you know, look look how that's going. So, yeah, I don't know. What do you guys think?
I want to sell all the stuff I'm getting, but I want to kind of like see if it improves. Can I just put like the loot in any container? Like if I put it in like a barrel, like this barrel right here. Uh, let's put the miscellaneous. There we go. Store one of those. Um, and then I want to say I want to change to to the East Empire Company merchant. I can change that. It's going to be currently White Run is the only loc. Oh no, Winterhold and Falkreath is there. Great, because we paid for those. Use this location. No, actually, might as well just always be at White Run. Um, and then open container. And now we're going to put uh, loads of stuff we don't need. Oh my god, the history of Winterhold was actually 255 gold. For five pages. Wow. It's impressive. Yeah, the Nexus mod donation point system is great. And obviously Nexus have been making loads of money from adverts for a long time. So it's great to see them finally support... Um, a system that actually supports the mod authors that literally make the money from their website. I think that's really important. And I'm glad to see them take action there. And from what I've heard on Reddit, I saw some mod, like a mod author actually talking about this. Um, and they were saying that, you know, they've only published like a few mods, but they earn like a reasonable amount of money just from that. Um, nothing like, you know, big or anything, but they still get money. So clearly there's a sizable amount of money. And I don't know what the top mod, or mod creators are making, but hopefully it's enough that, you know, that they can choose to carry on making free huge mods. Does the update include on console too? Yeah, so these paid creations are for Xbox, PlayStation, and PC. Um, but the PlayStation ones are a bit more limited because they are, they're kind of like limited because they're not allowed 3D assets. So some of the mods that you see on Xbox and PC won't work on PlayStation. So I think if you're on PlayStation, you're kind of a bit screwed in that sense. And in the same way, like going forward, like Starfield, for example, um, that will have the same system, but obviously it's not on PlayStation. And going forward, none of Bethesda's games will be. Um, because, yeah, Microsoft brought that company for, like, billions. So they obviously want a return on that investment. And that's not going to come if they're releasing it on their competitor's console, necessarily. Just getting rid of all my... A juvenile mud crab regenerates stamina. What is that even for? Like, I do not remember. Uh, hopefully some of this stuff sells and then we see like some improvements to the little selling area I don't know how much gold you have to sell before it improves but I'm here for it I'm just drinking some stuff Thanks for the donation, by the way, Edwin. Buy it in creation's menu. Yes, it's um, you have to exit out to the main menu and then it's there, but your game has to be up to date. And it's not the old Skyrim that has this. I think it's just Skyrim Special Edition and Skyrim Anniversary Edition. There's so many editions of Skyrim, it gets confusing for people. What is that? Oh, oh, that's a new house mod in the creation's DLC. All right, so how many holds do we have? To Let's go to Markath, Understone Keep. While we wait for that stuff to sell. 5,000 gold to improve. I think first upgrade. Can you just sort of go and do that? Or... I have to wonder. So we have to sell 5,000 gold's worth of goods. We can do that. I want to see it upgraded at least once. So we might have to go rob a dungeon up. Did you see that dog out there? Mate, I swear to God. They in really wanted to give me that quest. 
I am hereby granting you permission to purchase property in Markarth. How about Talk to my steward if you're interested? Just trying to scam me with buying more properties. How about you let us do business in your hold? You want in? You need to cooperate. It's eight thousand gold. Okay, have to buy a house and pay eight thousand gold. That's a brave offer. I'd be happy to throw in my coin behind that. So I assume that we have your blessing. You've got a deal. Okay, convincing the girls just kind of reminds me of that quest in Oblivion where you have to go and, like, convince uh, all the different holds of Cyrodiil to come and send, like, one man to the battle of the Oblivion Gates. That's what it feels like. You just, like, fast travel to every hold. So we've done Markov, we've done Falkreath. Now let's go to Morthal. Speak to Morthal. This mod is not on PlayStation. So there you go. PlayStation doesn't have any mods that include 3D assets or scripting and stuff like that. Because there's one, there's some kind of weird thing with Sony not allowing it. Do you like magic? And now Microsoft owned Bethesda. Like, you know, like we'll never see that going forward. Unfortunately, there's no reason for it. There's a dragon. This should be good. Hello, lady. We've got all the miners we need, so I hope you're not here looking for work. She's got a lot of mud crabs on the wall. You're collecting mud crabs. What is the meaning of this? I want to do business with you. Can I persuade her? I'll give you great wealth. No, it's not as simple as that. Okay, have 5,000 gold. Here's wealth. For that price? Sure. Easy. I'll make all the arrangements. Okay, see ya. I haven't even seen where these, like, things actually appear yet. Watch There's yourself, a boss. dragon attacking, though, so... That's not ideal. Can't see where it is, but it's attacking. I... I'm not one for talk. Try to keep to myself. Alright, buddy. Where's the merchant in Morthab? Do you guys know? She's got crabs. Oh, God. Why? Let's go to Dawnstar next. Is there an easy way to find and install these mods, please? Yeah, so you go to your main menu on Skyrim. A uh, special edition version of Skyrim or Skyrim Anniversary Edition. And then there should be a little new menu tab that says Creations. Just click on that. And then you'll see like a list of all the mods that pop up. Divine sake, Scald. Who do you think Unless you're here to solve I'm interrupting this, this on behalf of the East Empire need. Company to ask you to operate within the hold. Let's hear it. I'm going to try and persuade you like everyone else. The reign of merch the region's merchants would surely welcome this. I won't have them here. Looking for rubies and rubbish? Okay, well, here's 2000 gold, you cheap for ass that man. Price? <laughs> sure. Damn, they're also filthy rich. Tell your people at the company I accept it. Nice one, brother. Where does the East Empire Company even set up anyway? Is it like by the docks? You need something? Oh, it's right here. So it's just you. Of course. I have items for sale. He's I'm not selling anything. Time. So the East um Empire Company present is just a bucket of fish. There's nothing else here. There's someone there. I yield. I wonder how much coin oh, you've oh, got. Oh, oh, oh. Run away. Only use magic. Oh god, we're being attacked. I was not impressed by the business arrangements. So that lady had to die. Where's the law friendly pew pew? The guns. To be honest, how they've done that mod, I've already played for it. It's really well done. It's actually very impressive. And I say that as a massive pessimist when it comes to um, the guards are pursuing you. Oh no. Oh no. I just want to fast travel.
Are they just going to infinitely pursue me? Should we just walk back? Takes days to build the camp, does it? I need to get arrested quickly. Yeah, I will release a full video about the guns, reviewing them, and the same with the dungeon the DLC. Your disrespect for the laws of this land. It's time to face the Yarl's justice. I'll just give him more gold. That's fine. Here's forty Smart gold. Man. Oh, it just spawned in again. Interesting. Okay, now let's go to. Uh, we done went down. This area doesn't even have a city, so the next place will be Riften. Have I missed anywhere? Let me just have to wait a few days and then we can go and check out what they actually look like. I had another run in with a thief's guild. The Be thief's careful. guild. The thieves guild has Maven Blackbriar attack. Very dark. Riften's poor AF, so it should be like 1000 gold or something. Will this update come to the Nintendo Switch? No, definitely not. I don't think the Nintendo Switch can handle it. I feel like it would take a lot of effort to Repair everything on the switch. Be careful. Just taking a sweet roll. Very Welcome sneakily. Riften, home of the Thieves Guild. Or so they have you one. believe. It's all lies. They're just thugs. I'll hide around the corner here. It's my sweet roll. They didn't see anything. They don't suspect God us. Get nervous. Tyler, thanks for being a member for seven months. Always enjoy your Skyrim streams. Thanks for the content. I'm glad you appreciate it. I would ask that you maintain respectable distance Excuse from my at all times. Sorry, I will respect Welcome you, of course. Riften, On behalf I of the East Empire well. Company, Speak. give me everything. I wish to hear everything. Do it again. You'll get lots of profit. Please stop wasting my time. You're embarrassing yourself. Really? Okay, it's five thousand gold. Gold solves most problems, doesn't it? Yes. How much money have I wasted so far on these? It shall be so. Okay, so we can now operate what can I do? here. That looks like fun. Take that, that looks like object. fun. Don't you have to talk with the Yarl of Whiterun? Walk so close to but the I'm Yarl. already doing business in Whiterun. Let's go to Whiterun then. Lose your I'm going to Whiterun. We'll have a chat with him. I should have just traveled to Dra Dragon Breach. I'm a peasant of a player. I've spent roughly 30,000 gold. I bet the Yar's going to ask me like for 10 million gold and he's already got... We're already settled here outside of a city. You can check the lodge book for free ways to do these. Ah. Maybe I should wait then. We Grey Mains have been feuding with the Battleborns for years. There's no more bitter enemy. You... Have a request of me? <laughs> this should be interesting. I literally captured him in this city as well. Dot, dot, dot. Please take 500 septums to cover any inconvenience this may cause. Already people sing your praises for accepting this request I bring. Dot, dot, dot. I don't have any business to discuss with outsiders. Stop that! Keep your spells to yourself. Oh, you actually use an illusion I'm spell on talking me. anyway. That's hilarious. It's like D&D &D inspired. Love that. It's actually quite unique. I've never seen someone do that in a game. Or Skyrim. You can probably check the ledger. Thanks to the donation critical thing. I'm going to check the ledger and we won't actually buy this one out. We'll just go and see what the alternative storylines are for you. You have helped Corrine. And the East Empire has a new outpost. We have 20. Wonderful this is. This allows me to extend a new service to you. For you can now decide where items you have placed the relic can be sent to. I already knew that, bro. After you have activated a relic, simply mark the container to tell us where you wish those items to go. White Run, Winter Hall, wherever. As long as the East Empire has an outpost established, you can have the items sent to there. Or, if you'd prefer, you need not indicate any location. In which case, the items will be transported to the nearest outpost instead. Just that sounds like before. a nightmare. Thank you. Keep up the good work and the East Empire Company is doing well. In no small part due to your efforts. Okay. 
The East Empire Company is doing well. In no small part due to your efforts. What kind of materials do you have? That depends on the location you have cleared. Sometimes it could be metal ore, clay, or quarried stone. Maybe soul gems or regular gemstones. Sounds like a gamble. If there is a forest nearby, perhaps lumber. Ah. As I said, it all depends on the location. It's kind of cool that they've like included the Hearthfire DLC in that kind of like actually clay and wood is kind of useful. But after you built your house, it's not very useful, right? I would like these raw materials. No, give me gold. As you wish. I will make the necessary arrangements right away. However, if you change your mind and instead wish for the materials, just speak to one of the merchants at an outpost and they will help you. After that, you need only check the delivery container within the same hold as where the materials were gathered to collect whatever is delivered. Shikar wishes for warm sands beneath your feet, friend. Goodbye for now. Awesome. As Kashyyyk go, I am still fairly young. But do not be fooled by this. Already in my life, I have seen and done much. Let's check this ledger then. Sebi Miller, thanks for the $10 donation, dude. Do they still count as mods? Not able to get achievements, brackets. Please, I do love this. Only fans, Mark. <laughs> I'm really glad that you like that. If you've not checked it out, uh, the merch is in the description. Um, and we've got a Only Fans mug, uh, which is a bit of a meme mug. It's quite funny. I'm glad someone appreciates my sense of humor, though. So we have zero mines control. So we're going to go and capture some mines and sites now. Uh, we only get a 10% cut. I don't know if that gets better in the future. They've not sold anything yet. They've only sold one item. Disgusting. Do I have to wait an hour for it to like I appear? My I have an itch between my whiskers. Need something? Place my cut of mine treasure and ore in the delivery container in the future. Of course. Please sell my cut of mine ore and treasures. Yes. Of course. Good day. So everything's empty. I can't even sleep here. Disgusting. What? Yeah, so you can't get achievements from the Creation Club. Um, you can get achievements from the Creation Club content, but not from the Creations content, which are the paid mods. It disables achievements. If you're on PC, you can get a mod to re-enable them. I don't know if it works for Xbox. Someone can confirm that in the chat. Uh, right, let's go to Embershard Mine and like go and get everything there. See how much stuff we can make, how much money we can make, or if they can take over this area. Look at this, the Erexon. Wonder how much coin you've got. Absolutely deleted, oh man, Jesus. I'll take your weapons. <laughs> you better run. Read those letters. You've got clues on the Jarl's quest. Which one? My latest intel on White's run. He's not well... The Jarl is not well liked. He may think that local opposition to his leadership grows daily. I hear naysayers to his rule often gather at the local inn. Ah, so we can go to the inn and... Okay, okay. We'll, we'll definitely follow up on that quest, but let's capture this dungeon first. There's a trap here. I will not be fooled, obviously. Where's Katia? There she is. Damn it, she was too quick. Aren't you worried someone will wander in here? The entrance isn't exactly hidden, you know. This again? I told you, we have someone huh? standing guard out here. And don't forget the rock trap we rigged up. That was a good kill cam. Your Exxon. Oh, here he comes. He can't see us. Oh, damn. He's not breathing at all. 
Now, how do we open this again? Is that a bag of coins on there? Oh, it's falling. We've got to go and lower the bridge. The drawbridge. There's a dead body here with a tattered journal of notes. I'd run out of bandits to kill sooner or... Watch yourself, boss. Watch yourself, boss. Lower the bridge. Such a cool mechanic. Is someone there? What's that? Thought I heard something. Wow, he didn't see me, guys. Oh, here he comes. Here he comes. The blood of Talos flows. See you later, bro. Things. Hmm? I'm just gonna take some of this loot. Oh, look at this treasure. Retire someday. Get myself an island. Hello? Where's the key for this place? Must be a bandit chief here somewhere. Are we being followed? Hello there, sir. To the victor goes the spoils. Holy moly, he got paralyzed and died at once. And we have the key for the mine. And with that, I shall claim my real reward. All these iron weapons are cumbersome. Ooh, minor welding. Wielding. One-handed attacks do more damage. Nice one, brother. Oh, Katia. I got an elven... Elven armor sets, but you're already in dragon, so I guess it's not very useful to you. See this guy? Direct. Oh! That? Oh, he's gonna fall? Is he coming across the bridge? Nope, just stand right there. Here she comes. Oh, really? Where are you going? And that is the clearing noise. So now we can hopefully take this location. The East Empire Company for Skyrim. For the Nords. She is dead, yes? It would seem so. Fifty one gold. Let's go. The nice thing is, is after you clear the dungeon, you just throw all your crap into like a barrel. I need a container. Oh, there's actually a secret little chest down there. Cool. Yes. I didn't see this. It's locked. Not even the key to the mine opens it. Embershard Mine is your leveling dungeon. Do you mean like when you start a new character, you come here? Jesus, you spooked me there. It leads all the way around in a circle, it seems. There's even a forge here. Almighty Forge. Oh my god, Skyrim's only toilet. Wow. Not where I'd put my camp. These people are living a life of luxury. Can't believe it. Okay, here's a barrel. Let's put the crap in here. So, miscellaneous. Put one in here. Two merchants. Open container. And put all our crap in there. How long does it take to sell the stuff? Gonna give you all this. And this stuff is pretty valuable. Take this too. And nine bees. It's literally a beehive container. Okay, so now we can exit this dungeon. Hopefully we can we can sell it. Mate, I have permission to be a stealth archer build. I literally invented the slow time archer stealth build. That's why you don't have most of the mods. Yeah, on PlayStation with the external assets. Kind of sucks. 
Ah, so there's a little notification on the top left that says that it's been claimed by the East Empire Company. That's good, isn't it? So that means that it's never going to respawn in two in-game weeks. I wonder if I just wait. Jesus Christ, I have the strength of a god. If I just wait for a couple of weeks, I wonder if we'll see some miners and guards appear. Oh, look! What the heck? That's awesome! A cave? wonder how deep it goes. Oh, my God. Stay out of trouble, Khajiit. Really? What can I do for you? Dude, what happened to you? You've been working in the mines. Wouldn't they will respawn so and new guards spots. will slaughter them. You'll lose your coin. Oh, really? Do, do they actually successfully slaughter them? Or can you, like, lose territory? Is anyone, like, mining this place yet? Or is it just, like, you know, no one's here, I guess? But will I actually see miners in here? Like, mining hey, stuff? That looks like fun. Yeah, walking around without Lydia feels bad. God might get nerfed. Covered in coal dust. He's following me around. Oh, Jesus. I thought someone had died. Okay, so now if I go back to this, I wonder if anything's sold yet. Maybe I'll wait 24 hours and see. Did you see a dog out there? <laughs> I feel like we could get a new t-shirt with that on too. Guards appear, but bandits and radiants quests still happen oh okay okay so would you like go in there and then there'd just be like you know a random quest item hidden in at that location in the final boss chest for example but there's guards there and miners and whatnot just doing stuff instead of it being filled with enemies once again where's me cut man <laughs> where's me cut why is it we're just, we don't even have a mine controlled yet? We've made we've sold eight items and made seven hundred twenty one gold profit. Where's my two hundred seventeen gold? Where's my money? Do you have any sweet roads? God might get nervous. Sweet roads. A man approaches Careful. with his weapon drawn. <laughs> Travel into Skyrim, you might say, is tricky as of late. When entering, Shagar was almost apprehended. Dude. Good. I'd be a lot warmer and a lot happier with a belly full of mead. Hey, there's some mead right there. Are we lost, boss? Yeah. I. Do you have any sweet rolls? I love sweet rolls. <laughs> he's so. He's, the voice acting is so good on him. I love it. I think we've set up um, merchants in all the holds now. Right? There's nowhere else we need to set up. Why have we not explored runoff caverns? Or is that a new creation club content location? Let's go and clear. Oh, I, this is like the smallest location in the game. Clear, pure water run. Need to wait. Okay. So how long have you got to wait? Wait another day, Don't right? Let's just clear yes. another location. See if they uh, do anything with this one. I think this will be like another location. Oh, that's the um, creation club content. And there's like one sort of fish in here. Are you okay? So Jesus. Okay, she's found the slaughter fish. Where is it? Is that it? There it is. Got it. <laughs> Lol, fail. Right, now we should have cleared this location. We also got the letter, yes. Oh, Ravenrock has a one to establish too. I'm stuck. Doesn't count as cleared. That's weird. And maybe it's because the creation 
content got added to it. Okay, let me go back to White Run, um, and we'll wait there. And I also want to do this quest to go to the inn and find out about the Jarl. Um, so we had this item that the Jarl gave us. Because he's not very liked. The Jarl seems to have been doing poorly with his family finances of late. This may be something you could hold over him if you can find proof. Perhaps you could find such proof at his home. Where is his home? Is this added as a quest? No. I ain't done nothing. Vignar Greymane, he does actually have a house. You know what's wrong with Skyrim these days? Everyone I think it's this one on the left, death. isn't it? The Greymanes. Yeah. Might find some proof here. Wouldn't walk so close to, to the blackmail box. him. You'll lose your coin. There's a sweet roll. Don't mind me, I'm just trying to blackmail your father. What are you doing here? Are you working with the Battleborns? Speak now before I put you in the ground. Calm down, I'm not working for anyone. No? So you don't know anything about my brother? Then what are you doing here? I mean, I didn't mean to alarm you. Why are you so tense? Because they've got Thorald locked away somewhere. I am not gonna let that happen. That's another quest. Hmm. Who are you? Are you working with the Battleborns? Speak now before I put you in the ground. I'm just going to ignore you. I'm trying to find this dude's room. Oh, silver necklace. Fine clothes. This must be his room. Where is the evidence? There's a pie on the floor. That's a bit weird. Oh, there's a note. The Grey Main documents. Your family coffers run low, and you've made too many unwise investments of late. You have outstanding debts to be paid, and I recommend you get your finances in order soon. Oh, the Silverbloods. Not the kind of people you want to own money to. Who are you? Are you working with the Battleborns? Speak now before I put That man is going to be asking that question for days. I ain't done nothing. Let's go upstairs. And then we'll go and blackmail him into business. I think he might be in bed though. Who's this lady here? It's a fine day with you around. Aren't you married? I'm very confused. White confusion. Where is the old man? There he is. We Grey Maids have been feuding with the Battleborns for years. You have a request of me? This should be interesting. Your coffers run low. Accepting this deal with the East Empire Company could alleviate this. You're not as dumb as you look. Lol. <laughs> so you agree to their request. The East Empire Company may operate in your hold. Yes, yes, goodbye. Fantastic. Check out the Winterhold camp. I heard they Need fixed up one of the buildings for it. Really? Winterhold, you say? There was a lot of run-down buildings they could have chosen. We also need to go to Solfheim to Raven Rock to set up a camp there. I'd be a lot warmer and a lot happier with a belly full of mead. I need to hold the torch so close to my Khajiit fur. Let's wait until daytime.
What? Oh, is this it? What a ramshackled hovel this is. There's literally more snow in here than furniture. I have never been... A big fat zero. So as you play Skyrim and clear all the locations, you're eventually going to have like just tons of money running into all of these coffers. You have a look. What? What do you mean have a look? Have a look at what? Where is he? What are you selling? Why are you outside? Just part of the ship, are you? What do you want, cat? Why is it so rude to me, man? I cannot feel my fingers or my toes. Good. I don't want you to feel them. Impressive. It's a very law-friendly way of um, introducing the East Empire Company to Skyrim. All right, now we've got to go to Solitude, but I don't think I've unlocked it on this character. Oh, I have. Yes, good. Nice that they have overhauled the one Northern building in Winterhold. Ship the Northern Maiden is ship shape and ready to go. I hear the Northern Maiden's ship shape, guys. Not much contact with others around here. Was this the, the main? To the north. I think so. I trust you're not planning any trouble. What can I do for you, Fred? On behalf of House Redoran and as Counselor of Raven Rock, I bid you welcome. Would you consider allowing the East Empire Company to operate here? I couldn't really say. What do you mean you couldn't say? How about 12,000 gold? Got the whole island, let's go. Anything you can contribute to Raven Rock will be greatly appreciated. So, with this payment, we can operate here? Of course. Raven Rock's doors are open, friend. We're friends now. We're best friends. You hear that? Friends. As the wife to the second counselor of Raven Rock. So where's the Raven Rock East Empire Company held up? Just going to be some boxes, I reckon. Yeah, is this it? No, no, this is just a market store. Miserable. My man Just selling miserable. yams. This is the yam oh, stool. This place. Where's the East Empire Looking stool? Looking for any potions, ingredients, alchemical supplies. It's going to be in the middle of nowhere, isn't it? Oh, one sec. Are they going to repair one of these houses? That could be cool. Oh, they've got their own dock set up. Need something? I think you need mm -hmm. a boat. Does anything get built here, or is it just like... I don't know. I was expecting to rebuild one of these houses too. Need something? Just All a merchant. Right, I don't actually know where her setup or stuff is, to be honest. Maybe she's she doesn't know where it is either. I wouldn't be surprised. It takes time to build. Ah, uh, okay. Right, let's go back to White Run. See if they've started stocking my stuff now. It's been a couple of days. Takes time to build an upgrade. Yeah, we've got to sell 5,000 gold worth of goods, I think, before the upgrades. I was just hoping that they would have my mine. Maybe it wasn't captured, though, because I didn't speak to the the guards and get his permission but it is cleared that's cleared too let's go to let's go to silent moon's camp and clear that did you finish the game on this character you are smaller than he sound um whoa went right in my between my eyes almost Jesus, look at that guy. Get wrecked, son. That's how you fire an arrow, you fool. Oh my on god. Fire, I'm on oh, fire, boss? She's literally blinded by it. Get wrecked, son. 
I wonder what this particular location will provide once we clear it. Embershard mine is part of Falkreef. Ah, well that makes sense. So we need to go to Falkreef then. That's why it's already set up. That makes sense. It's pretty cool. Surprise attack. Is someone there? Didn't expect that, did you? Oh my god, there's a lot of guys here. Now you're all on the floor. Oh my god, he's doing like backflips and everything. That's pretty powerful magic you have there. Taking arrows to the neck. What do you want, cat? The mammoths are coming. I've run out of bandits to it's kill. the Ollie fans. Should be an entrance here. Here we are. Oh, someone was sleeping here. Hello there, sir. Is someone there? The blood of my father runs in my veins. Ah, ah, my finger. Nothing. Ah. Direct some. Ah, my finger. All right, complete it. Kill the bandit leader located at the camp. Collect the bounty. Who's Brill? I was not aware of this quest. Is he an innkeeper? I thought we'd cleared this location. What are you doing here, sir? You need to leave. Excuse me, you need to leave. Why is this locked? Do you have the key? You do not. Where is the key? Have you seen a dog out there? I've been looking everywhere for that dog. Oh my god, I'm trapped in here forever. Ah! I can't escape. Dude, this is like a master level lock. Oh my god, it's in the middle. Literally where it starts. Ah, oh, finally. 43 gold. Hey, look at all these uh, bread. That's the real rewards. The Lunar Iron War Axe. Don't trip, yes? Yes. That's me out. All right, so... Let's go to Falkreath and check if we've got some funds coming in from the mine we cleared a few days ago. It's right here. Brill is the bald dude in Jova Scar beside Skor. Skor. Oh, so he's one of the companions. It's outside the city. Got like a little docking area here. Look how angry this guy looks. Yes. He just sits out here. Oh, mind controlled one. How much money? I... Nothing. Yes. Of course. Mm hmm. <laughs> Until next time. Oh, he keeps coming up twice. It's quite annoying. Um, okay. Well, it's there, but I think we have to wait a few days before it actually appears. What race is Katya? She's a Nord. You're the one cast those illusions. Impressive. Why do they think I'm good at illusion magic? Because I have like level 15 illusion skill. Doesn't make sense. Maybe you need 24 hour wait. I'm going to go to bed for 24 hours. It rains a lot in Falkyrie. Yep, yeah, it's like England, really. Hmm. 
exactly like Eamon. The music is so nostalgic. It's true. I sometimes listen to this music while I'm working. Very chill. Yeah, Katio does have options to mitigate her chatter. That's true. But I kind of want to, like, hear some of the dialogue. They pay $4 for that. I want to I wanna get my money's worth. Sometimes she repeats some lines of dialogue, which is quite annoying. Unfortunately, I didn't think I like her voice, and I wish that I could have, like, listened to her voice before buying it. But I would have reviewed it anyway, so no matter. I forgot about that. Honor to you, my fane. How are you honoring me, though? You're just, like, butt naked in my bedroom. Watching me sleep, eating bread every hour of every day. It's a bit concerning, to be honest with you. Take Lydia. Ah. Ah, it is you. I have news to share. Dear. A trade outpost of ours has become more established. This is a good thing. Oh, awesome. Greater stability means greater chance for trade. I can now sell the items you send me at an increased value, which means more gold for you. Ah, so the the uh, percentage cut actually does increase. I didn't know that's how the mechanics of it worked. That's really cool. Awesome. Happy to receive more gold, bro. Keep doing what you're doing out there. Helping the East Empire helps you in return. Yes. Dude, this is sick. It's like a little market store now. This is where we sell our stolen goods. Mm -hmm. Iron maces. Oh, wow. There's a broken iron axe and there's some ingots what do you want, and cat? iron ore. Which I guess we're... Um, what do you want, cat? We're mining. Shut up, Aye. man. I literally am the reason you're successful. Aye. Get out of my way. I want to see the ledger. So the first upgrade... What? We made 7,414 gold. How do we make that much money? I must have given them like a lot of potions. I made two grand. 10% cut. So my cut hasn't increased then. Nice. That's a fat bit of gold, man. Aye. 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 Can you upgrade it a second tier? Or is this like the max level tier? I assist, hmm? Because this looks pretty cute. Does it upgrade again? Yeah. Yes. Because we're almost at 10,000. Of so course. Surely. <laughs> he's selling. He's, <laughs> he, he's still trying to sell the broken mace handle I gave him ages ago. <laughs> That's quite funny. Of course. So let me just go ahead and sell um, we don't need that. Cause he probably like sells it at the market value as well. Which is more than I actually can sell stuff for. And then I get a percentage of that, which is the similar to if I had just sold it myself. I think that's why he's made so much money, because otherwise it wouldn't add up correctly. Oh, it must have been all the scrolls we sold him. Someone mentioned there was another book I got. What's this? Heart of Crimson. I don't think this is to do with this mod. Those are the blackmail documents. I mean, we can sell those because we don't need those anymore. Uh, dinner invitation, no. We don't need that anymore either. Convincing Elsif, we don't need.
Until next time. There's no auto sell button now. One way we could speed up though is just go to White Rum, buy all their stuff, and then tell him to sell it. The Imperials think we need their laws. Oh, it's locked, but not. Love your Baldur's Gate free playthrough. Probably one of the best playthroughs I've seen. Would love to see a good playthrough and honor mode run guide. That would be cool. I mean, I'd love to do some guides for it too. I still want to go back and do the epilogue though that they've added Welcome into the to game. Welcome to War Maidens. Now don't let the... We've got small... Of course. Oh, I, I'm going to arm my horse. Yeah, why not? I didn't even know I had a horse. The finest weapons and armor. We've got a horse, boys. Right, so I'm going to just buy literally everything. Actually, all, all the weapons. And a payroll. And now I can just go and Good sell doing it. Good business with you. And that'll be like a fast mode. It's going to be a long walk, boys, but we'll... Actually, I could get them to pick Ow. it up, because that's the advantage of it, isn't foot, it? Boss. So if I... I get wait. I need a barrel. I need a barrel. Out here if you're looking to buy. Out of my way. I'm trying to get to this barrel. You can pick up every scrap of dungeon. Yeah, in a. You can like literally buy everything, put it in a barrel, with the miscellaneous. You have to put this in first, and then you click on it. And then you say, okay, do I want to go to my chest or do I want to change it? And it goes to the Empire Merchant to sell automatically. And I open my container and then I just put my stuff in there and sell it. And I'm doing this purely to see if there's another upgrade option. We shall find out. Also got like loads of um, corrodium ingots I can sell now. And some garnets. Oh, well, I don't need that anymore, actually. That's fine. I'm going to go get my horse and we'll ride over there because I'm a rich horse man with armored horses now. Barrel mechanic is cool. Yeah, just like, you don't need to be over encumbered anymore. I think that's going to be insanely cool for like a survival mode playthrough. Maybe we'll do like a Skyrim survival mode playthrough or something. We'll do like the Vampire Dawnguard DLC because you guys really wanted me to do that with... I think it was the vampire story, right? You guys wanted to see. But I want to mod Skyrim first. So I want to do the mod list and then I'll do that. Mate, I, I armored my horse. Where's my horse at? Do I have to go buy the horse again? I just armored my horse that didn't exist. He like scammed me or something. So most father says I ain't smart enough to be stable master. Someday. That guy sounds like 50. I don't think you'll ever be smart enough. Man like you needs a war horse, I reckon. Only thing better than riding a swift horse is riding a swift horse over the enemy. Oh, I never tried this. I want to buy a wild horse map. Can I buy a horse? I suppose so. Got one all saddled if you've got the coin. You've got a deal. It's nice. the one with the saddle. It's the only horse you have. I'm going to buy a wild horse map now. Of course. Find and tame the black horse, the grey spotted horse, and the chestnut horse. I of already course. brought armor. Do I have to buy more armor? Okay, now it's got elven Ride armor. Strong. 
Wait, can I change my saddle? Looking to shatter records? Of course. What saddles? Standard saddle, white saddle, imperial, or stormcloak? Stormcloak. Oh no, this sucks! Where's my elven armor gone? <laughs> you ruined my horse. Of Give me elven armor. To pay another 50 gold, you're just scamming right. me for this. This is exactly like the armor they had in Oblivion that they tried to sell us. Wait, the rear is completely exposed. What happens if someone comes in from behind? Hell yeah. Look how rich I am. I'm going to charge them down. All right, we're here. That was worth 500 gold. I'll, I'll look at the horse map in a moment. Travel into Skyrim, you might say, is tricky as of late. When entering, Shagar was almost apprehended. Okay, so I probably need to wait a while before he actually sells everything. Currently, we've sold 7,400 and we need to wait some time. So in the meantime, we'll go and capture a horse. Wait, so where's my horse gone? Oh, it's over here now. What's wrong with you? To have every yard free to our trade, I am impressed. Oh, like I love that. Like they actually put effort into the dialogue changing based on the story. Oh, he even got an upgrade. He has a house now. Yeah, that's sick. I love that. Are there any non-horse mounts? Lydia is pretty good. So where's the quest for... Uh, oh, I've got like an, a treasure map, right? You send your items to Raven Rock. Damn it. Then I messed up, didn't I? We're going to have to go to Raven Rock and see if they're still living out of a hovel there or not. Um, That's very annoying. I wanted to upgrade this. Oh! So in White Run, we have a map of the wild horses. Let's have a closer look. Apparently, on the left of White Run, in the fields, the plains of White Run, we'll find some horses. Apparently, they also have forest horses, which is a bit weird. Okay, let's go and kill some horses. I mean, uh, tame some horses. All right, here we go. Better be some horses over here. Is this actually a marked quest, or um, do I just have to, like, find them? Oh my god, there it is! It's a, it's like a rare Pokemon! It's a rare Pokemon, look at this. One, two, three, three. Oh no. How do I, I've got to tame it. I've got to, like, sneak up to it and then surprise it from behind. How does it know I'm here? It can't see me. Shit, I can fucking see. Ah, got him! Got him! Ha! This is my horse now. Wired horses will buck until... What? They have, they have like, uh, mechanics. I never tried this. You stay mounted until they submit. If you are thrown, try again. That's what Lydia told me. Once tamed, you can add a saddle. That's pretty kinky. You can rename them at the stable. I'm going to call this one Lydia. While, when changing horses... Tamed horses will return to the location where they can be found. Okay. Alright. That's fine. You can't get me off. They didn't add animations for that. Ha! Might be something nearby to oh! I'm off! Oh my god, what are you doing to me? Why are you teabagging me? Jesus Christ. Look away, children. Get him, get him, get him. Ha! Got him! I'm taking him, taking him home. I'm going to put him in a, a tight pen so we can't escape. Oh, I've tamed him already. Easy. Easy taming. Look at that. You're my horse now. Still says it's a wild horse, but it's my horse. All right, let's go to the stable and rename it Lydia. <laughs> it's just like a naked Khajiit. Oh, damn it. How do I rename it? 
I have to go and talk to someone. I like Pokemon. I gotta collect, collect, collect them all. All right, I'm gonna shut up. Right, there we go. How do I rename it in the stable then? All right. Man like you needs a war horse, I reckon. Uh, I'd like to register and rename my horse. Of course. The horse has been renamed. Whisper. Want to hit something with a sword? Whisper the horse. What's that? Get me, get me off. Whisper. Oh, I'm stuck on it. Stupid name. Whisper. It's like it's like when you're 12 and you made like your Looking Xbox Live account. You're like, oh, my name is Dragon Slayer 55. My beasts can do both. Uh, I want to rename. Of course. What is Boss? the other name? Gunner. That's like yeah. a dog's name. Of course. Do they have any good names? Aura. Oh my god, that's very cringe. Hmm. If if someone actually of wanted course. like a pony as a little girl, they'd call it Aura. Gunner. I'd rather have Whisper. I... Of course. Give me something. Ran. Yeah, alright, let's give him a saddle. Need something? Uh, I'm gonna armor my of horse. Course. Let's actually get steel armor. Ride strong. Oh my god, that's exposing, to say the least. Out of my way! Get out of my way, Lydia! Jesus Christ. Okay. Come on, get in the carriage. Alright, now we can ride Need a somewhere. Ride? I can take you to any of the hold capitals. Uh, we need to go to... Where did I send it? Was it, uh... Raven Rock. Where do you want to go? Oh my god, he's getting humped. Uh, uh we can't actually get See that ya. from the carriage, can we? It's beautiful. I think we've truly mastered Skyrim at this Don't point. Don't mind me, boss. It's a horse riding a horse. <laughs> The superior steel mounted horse. Amazing. Yes. Giddy up. Go. I want to see if my horse ends Need up something? there. Where do you want to go? Uh, Dawnstar. Climb and back and we'll be off. Come on then. My horse is driving the way. Oh, there once was a hero named Ragnar, the red who came riding to right run from all roads. Are you coming, Cadia? Horse carriage reception. Oh my god, we've arrived. Only the horse has left. The carriageman died. Hell yeah, that was awesome. Alright, let's go to Solfheim. And then we'll send our stuff back to the white the white run place to Northern get here over ten thousand gold. Ready to go. Is it still ship shaped? That's good news, boys. So, I think if we go around the balcony... Oh, they're actually set up now. They've got like a proper merchants thing. And they've even got a signpost. Damn. Okay. What do you need? Need something. What do you want, cat? Why are you so rude to me? What's my car? It's nothing. Oh, so they haven't even got my stuff. Are you sure I sent it to Raven Rock? I think you, it can't have been Raven Rock, right? Surely it wasn't Raven Rock. I'm going crazy. Was it somewhere else? I can't remember where I sent it. I can check on Embershard Mine, that's a good point. Go back to Falkreath's um, East Empire camp. How is the mod, Cat? It's pretty good so far. I think it, I feel like you would enjoy it much more if you actually had, um... Where's that man I pay to guard the place? He's just left all my money here in the little strong box. Four gold for one mine. I clear an entire mine and I got four gold? 
Or treasure shipment. Free gold. Oh my god, you sold four items for eight gold? What were we mining? Iron? Uh, oh, it's terrible. That's actually just taking the piss. It looks like you sold more than that, but hey. What a horrible little Look at this wonky-ass sign. You need to sell some more iron, man. Let's go to Embershard Mine and see what the heck they're doing. Because clearly they're not mining there. It's all good until you have to remember where your stuff is. Yeah, exactly. Oh, it's in Windhelm. Is that where I sent Got it? You oh. thinking. Maybe I'm the dragonborn, and I just don't know. Never should have come here. I don't think here. we are alone. Try to hide from a Nord warrior. Maybe he's the dragonborn. This is his moment. This is his moment. Come on. Show us dragonborn. Show us who the true dragonborn is. Where is he, dragonborn? Can you see him? Save us, dragonborn. Alright, you save us. I'm gonna go into the mines. Merchants go to the local inns at night. Oh, that's cool. I thought they set up the rock trap again. Oh, they're actually mining here. Okay, this is what I wanted to see. Got that slave labor, boys. And there's Easter Empire Company. The ball, eh? I'm a sword man, my son. You're a sword man, are you? A oh, big sword. Let me guess. Someone stole your sweet roll. What do you need? Why are there just men guarding and all the women are doing all the work? Caddy, what do you make of this? Surely we're getting more than four gold a day from these, like, all these miners. Be careful. There's more miners. Oh my god, every, every miner want, is Kat? female? Oh my god, Nazim's mm -hmm. mining. That is actually Nazim. Okay, okay, so there are other people mining. That's good. Good to see. We've got like a 50-50 workforce. It's, it's good um, representation. But that's cool. So obviously when all the enemies, bandits, spawn back, they'll just get slaughtered by the guards. Yeah, we should really get some children in here because they're invincible. They can't get killed. So child labor would be a good idea. I second that notion. Be careful. We got like foot we have to pay like 40 miners. So that's where all the gold is going. It's actually some kind of like scam operation. I want to go. Oh, East Empire Company location is there. Nice. I actually want to go see we talk to this guy again. He has anything. You talk to Jesus Edmund. Christ. Deja has no words for you. Good to see you. Finally, someone useful the around. The East hmm? it's all the more gold for the okay, so... Was it Winterhold I sent all the stuff to? I think it was. I'll quickly check there. Uh, and if not, I'll, I'll just sell loads of stuff in... in um, White's Run, and hopefully... This mod is not supposed to be rushed. Yeah, but I want to rush it to, like, test the mechanics of it and see how it works. But I understand that this is a mod that you would ideally play over, like, you know, hundreds of hours of playing Skyrim. Oi, have you sold my goods yet? Let me look at the ledger. Zero profits. This isn't good enough. Where's my weapons at? Where have my gauntlets gone? Did I sell all my stuff? I think I did. Whoops. Do you think they still have their coin on them? Let's check. They've got nothing here. Hopefully he'll be replaced with someone better who actually does their job. I'm expecting better profits. 
not a pitiful performance. Is there even a blacksmith in? My... There's genuinely nothing here, is there? Alright, we need to go and buy tons of stuff and then go and sell it somewhere. Let's actually go and take the dragon's hoard. Have you been able to find anything about law-friendly guns yet? If it, is it worth buying or not? I will do a full review video on it. The dungeon is actually incredibly well done and they do a very good job of explaining mods being law-friendly. Oh my god, it's an ancient dragon. Ooh, I'm gonna tackle it right up the butt cheeks. I know the dragon's weakness. Get it! Uh oh, she's already down. Oh, what is going on here? Like a perfect square cut out. Get wrecked, son. Ow. Get back, beast. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, I need to make sure I don't just get eaten right now. Get wrecked, son. No! Where did my horse come from? Just spawned inside the dragon. Interesting. 500 gold, mate. We can sell this immediately. Oh my god! Not, not my rare horse. Watch out, Ran. He's coming for you, buddy. Get wrecked. Stop banging on about the blood of a thousand Nord warriors. Right, there must be some loot up this mountain somewhere. Alright, we're going to do some horse archery now. There must be some loot somewhere, surely. I didn't play since 2012. Damn! Is it worth starting again? I mean, they have better graphics or new stories. Well, Skyrim Anniversary Edition is probably worth a buy. There's a lot more to experience in the game. And to be honest, you can get it so cheap nowadays, so it's probably worth it. You know, you got horse armor, got um, amazing physics. Get me out of here. <laughs> Trying to take a shortcut off this mountain. Oh, okay. Interesting. It's impressive. My God, that looked painful. Oh my God, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Where's my horse? He's absolutely fine. Seems like I took all the damage actually. Oh, okay. Interesting. Isn't there like a fun little thing you can do here? Like, uh, what is it? Like this. How does it work again? You go like that. And then you like save the game or something. And then like jump off. How does it work? I can't remember how the... <laughs> that view. It's like a speedrun hack. Oh well. Oh my god, there's a bear. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. Jesus Christ, I'm getting mewed. Oh god. It's gonna kill me. Ram saving me. We paralyzed it, thank god. It's taking a tumble down the mountain. <laughs> oh my god, look at it go. Roly poly bear. Let's finish it off. Oh my god, I heard that. Those butt cheeks were clenching. You have to load the save. I knew you. Yeah, okay. There we go. Wait, you load it like that and then you get off? Is that it? Oh, yeah, here we go. Oh no. How did it work?
No, I checked Raven Rock. They weren't in Raven Rock. Let me try again. That didn't work. To load the save, that is the third person on horse and dismount. That's what I did. But it just, uh, maybe, it, maybe it's just a bit scuffed. I didn't like do it correctly. Once glitch, reload the current save. I wonder if this one works. Let's try it. Can't dismount. Let me dismount. Oh well, let's kill the bear again. Silly creature. My god, it's angry. Ram is coming to my defense. It's over, Ryan. Meow. My horse is rapid. What's this little house down here? Stop complaining, horse. Oh, there's a deer here. Let's see if we can get this deer. Get Rex, right in the doorway. I think there's like a, a, a necromancer or someone, or a mage that lives there. Damn. Can't be bothered to loot it, obviously. Where would be the fun in that? You need a better, better angle, I see. How about this for an angle? Meow. <laughs> oh. Okay. Apparently, I take the damage instead of my horse. <laughs> oh, God. He didn't like that. Let me on. Let me get on you. There we go. Perfect. I can see some enemies over there. Doing like a drive-by shooting in Skyrim. Oh, beautiful. The wildlife doesn't stand a chance against me. Oh, get Rex, son. We cleared a location. Another one for the uh, East Empire Company Empire. It grows by the day. Let's see if we can take on a giant while on horseback. Die! Oh my god, we pissed it off. <laughs> it's like, ah, I feel like um, the Mongol or something. Mongol archery. Oh my god. Took that right on the chest. Jeez. I'm confusing them. They don't know what to do. Look at them. Running circles around them. Giant doesn't doesn't know what to do with. Look at him. Can't deal with this. It's too much for them. My horse's steel armor makes it immune to damage. Get wrecked, son. Oh, yeah. Get wrecked, mate. Okay, one's down. Just culling Whiterun. Oh, we'll get back to the mod shortly. Point blank Mongolian archer. Hell yeah, look at that. That was beautiful. Now we can just store all of the goods that we have in the mammoth's body and someone will come and collect it. The mammoth's body is a great storage device. So basically how it works is we can now drop in items like this into any container in the game. It's not been long dead, boss. Oh, actually it doesn't work with this one. Wouldn't want to meet the winner. Okay, let's go to another location. In fact, we'll just go there ourselves. Shouldn't shouldn't have to contact the mod creator to figure out how to make a patch without buying their mods. Well, I don't know. I don't know how the modern community works, but they usually talk to each other, which is 
better than not, I guess. Ask Ajiko. I am still fairly young. Yeah. But do not be fooled. I have some things that I wanted to put up for sale. I have seen and done so much. now we can sell our stuff with this merchant. Um, all the crap we don't need. For the sake of this video. Got a few hats there. Have some cooked bass. Or bass. Mammoth snout isn't actually that expensive. I thought it was a bit more expensive. Oh, mammoth tusk. We can sell that. Mm -hmm. Is she still stuck on the signpost? Interesting. Alright, I'm going to buy um, just some random stuff on the blacksmith in Windhelm. And then we will sell that back to the one in White Room. Are you playing on Xbox or PC? This is on PC. But it should be the same for both, essentially. What are you doing that for? What do you mean? I'm just e just like here. Every I respect. <laughs> My God, man! People don't have time for me. Okay, there we go. I couldn't Where's ask the merchant? for a better teacher than Owen Gull. E e if that makes sense. Of course. No, I don't want to arm my horse. I lied. Uh, I want to buy stuff from you. Shores bones. I'm Hermir's. If that there we makes go. Any sense. What do you have Take for sale? Look. Finally. I'll buy all your stuff. And we can just sell it to the guy in White Run. Whether Should be able to put it in this in barrel plane, around the corner here. See me. Is that actually a container nearby? I can't see one. Oh dear. Run! Do you know the way back, boss? Should be able to put it in one of these sacks. Well, oh, there's a barrel here. We can use this one. How do you always manage to fast travel in nighttime? I know it feels like it's always nighttime. I just think that's Skyrim in a nutshell, though. So now we can deposit our item that allows the East Empire Company to pick up our supplies, essentially. So if we store an East Empire Company relic in here, then we can change it to being given to the merchant who's going to sell it on our behalf. And we need to make sure it's at White Run. Use this location. And then we can open the container and deposit all the crap we want to sell. Like so. And all of the armor. So this should get us to over 15,000 sales, I would have thought. So hopefully that means... We will advance to a higher level if we have one. There's like another tier of the stool that we currently have outside Whiterun. Oh, don't want to sell that. It's a cool system though. I think it's very useful and I especially want to do like a survival mode playthrough with that. I made my fortune as a stool. But now I'm retired. Okay, so now we just wait an hour. Now we can just fast travel back to... Actually, Windhelm Docks. Where is the supplier outside of here anyway? It's probably at the docks. Is that actually going to be in the East Empire Company warehouse? Or... 
Oh, it's here. Is this it? Hmm? Oh, you're a beggar. Skyrim isn't very friendly for Argonians, so we mostly just keep out of the way. Adagorn, thanks for the $2 donation. May your road lead you to warm sands. <laughs> a great quote. Wait. This is definitely the ledger. Shavi we haven't sold anything here, but it's a cool little cell. Is good for the, gills. the beggar seems well, to be our well. most popular merchant. Alright, let's go back to White Room. Uh, where are you? Over here. People keep talking about Patreon for modders, but really almost no one actually does that. So the modders get less than $100 a monthly, mostly. Yeah, like they get less than minimum wage for the work they put on. There's no way you can support yourself with Patreon alone. Like Patreon's a great way that I have like a Patreon to have like a bottom line of revenue. So I don't have to be completely reliant on like ad revenue, for example. But for mod authors, it's like how many, how many times have you donated to a mod author that you've downloaded a mod of we even have like a donation button on the website for the um for the mod lists we create um and that very very rarely gets donations over the four years I've we've been, been doing it in fact we've made a loss in terms of like the time we put into it let's see here a note from someone named calselmo and looks like that's it got to go got to go Right, this guy is drunk, man. How can I job. assist? Hmm? Yeah. Let's wait another twenty-four hours. Imagine you have ten models that all make mods that conflict with this. How do now ten people have to pay to make mods? I don't know if that situation happens to models, but I would just assume that they'd be like, it doesn't work with this mod, so just only have one installed. Like you, you could uninstall this mod and not use it. You know, it's it's like it just because a paid mod is paid for it doesn't make it superior in a way that everyone else who what makes free mods to has to work coin? around it. If anything, free mods would probably still be more popular. So I just don't really foresee clear. that being an issue at all. Seems like a weird thing uh, to like, I don't know, kind of making up like an issue for the sake of it or something. 9,300 gold, let's go. I mean, obviously we spent way more than that to make, make the items, but... Not be fooled by this. Already in my but it doesn't life, seem to upgrade any more. In undone much. So after the after it's upgraded once, like right now, it's made profit made. It's only yeah thirty eight thousand gold. Item sold three hundred eighty two, and we get ten percent of those shipments. Watch what you're doing. <laughs> get out of my way. <laughs> God, it doesn't seem to have upgraded at all. Aye. So I guess they just upgrade once. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you have anything to sell of that's course. cool? Mm -hmm. But yeah, what do you guys think so far? USCP being updated for this new update. Oh, do you mean the wiki? Well, Creation Club mods were canon, whereas apparently this stuff is not canon because it's it's not official Creation Club content. This is like creation, so it's different to Creation Club, which is like Bethesda endorsed. Why do you always have to stand in front of me, man? So I think... Um, Oops, my fault, boss. Yeah, it is your fault. So, I, because this stuff isn't canon, I don't think we'll see, like, USCP wikis update with this content. We have a new camp. And also, like, for example, like, if I just go back to the main menu to just talk about this, creations. These are the four I've got installed. I tried Legendary Dwarven Dungeons earlier, and I will be making a video about that. But, like, that mod compared to... The Aquabus one had uniquely named weapons and armor, but they didn't have unique sculpts. Like, they weren't unique 3D models. They just had different effects applied to them. And I don't know if that... Can someone confirm if that's on PlayStation? Um, the... Can someone confirm is Legendary Dungeons 
dwarven dungeons is um clearly he's going to do dungeons for different themed ones which is cool um but can someone confirm that's on playstation i don't know if it is but if it's not that's probably why it didn't have any f unique 3d models uh, for the weapons but i feel like if you're paying for something it should that's just my opinion but that would limit you for only being on xbox and pc right i don't think there's a way i can sort of see that from my side Okay, so let me go back to the menu. Quit. Oh, no. A menu. So used to that muscle memory. Not asking anyone. Not at all asking anyone to work for free. And if you're expecting me to patch my mod to work with a paid mod, aren't you expecting me to work for free then? Oh, I think you make a very valid point. Um... But I don't think anyone's asking you to do that. Or like, you know, I, I mean, for example, loads of people ask me to make videos on certain things on YouTube and I get paid through the adverts on if they're successful or not. And that's a risk I take by making those videos. But it's one of those things like you because you're not you're not being paid. No one's supporting you to do that. So it's up to you whether or not you want to do that. And I definitely get the feeling of being constantly asked to do something like update our own mod list for example because it's like broken every time skyrim updates and we spend a lot of time and effort and even support people by paying them to to assist us with that um and we make a loss by doing that we don't make any profits on it um we literally make minus revenue and i do it as like a passion project because i think it's really cool and it's also like a little way to like support mod authors but the amount of time and commitment it takes like at some point, I'm just going to be like, oh, I can't really bother to do that anymore. Um, that time will eventually come, I'm sure. And I'm, I don't, I know that now with the creation club not being a thing, when they add new paid mods onto this, they don't need to update Skyrim. But I'm sure at some point they will change the interface and update that. So I'm sure mods will break at some point in the future. I just think it's probably going to happen. It always does. So, so I think that yeah, like. I get the concept of having like your free time and people asking you to spend your free time doing something for them for free being quite frustrating. Uh, but you don't have to do that. No, like, you know, no one's paying you. I think some mods are in Elder Scrolls Online takes place before Morrowind. Sorry, missed that conversation. You're saying paid mods should make the patch to work with all the free community stuff because they're free. Well, if you look at... I mean, at the, at the end of the day, it's like, it's kind of like, how can they do that? You know, because there's so many free mods. And it's like, if you looked at all the free mod locations, I mean, and then you were like, I'm going to make a paid mod for like, uh, I don't know, a house in Skyrim. And you put the house in like a really popular location in Whiterun um, and it looks incredible. Everyone buys that. Then you then you kind of get like this weird bidding war as well of that like other people who wanted to make a paid house mod in that same location then can't use that location because you're competing with someone else with two different paid mods in the same location. So it's a bit, it's a bit like I can see that potentially being an issue. But again, this isn't something Bethesda cares about. I think it's just like people will just buy whatever they want and that's a problem that they can deal with if it's not compatible with something else they want. Um, I just don't I don't foresee that that these people who are even making the paid mods need to even accommodate it, um, even if they are getting paid versus like the same way in someone that makes a free mod needs to accommodate everyone else. You're a member of the modding community, so you know how it works much better than me. But I'm just saying like, if you're not paid for it, like within your rights not to do it um just like how we see some mods get out of date for when skyrim stops uh, is updated in the future um you know some people just have stopped working on their mods um and therefore it, it, it's just no longer updated by anyone and it's sad but it's just the realism when 
it's done as a hobby, right? Like you're doing it for free. Uh, what mod was it? I think it was actually the East Empire Company expansion. At the bottom, it says features a... Yeah, features a professionally voice acted questline, dynamic systems that allow all these new services to work with the base game content, other creations, which is other other paid creations, I assume that I assume creations means paid creations now. And even community mod added locations. So he's basically saying that they're kind of doing something to make it work with other people's creations and adding patches on their behalf. Or is that incorrect? Because that's what that statement kind of means to me. You know, it's always going to be like differing perspectives, but I don't, because like, you know, of how this stuff works, I don't really see there ever being like a middle ground where all the paid mod creators have to make sure it's patched to work with all the free mod creators it's just, it's one of those things that like the community have always done and adapted to, but with these paid mod things, it's just like, you know, it's just there and that's it. And you get what you get and what you pay for. It doesn't like compared to like the Nexus, if you download something, sometimes it tells you like, uh, oh, this isn't compatible with this mod or this mod. It doesn't work with this one. So you kind of have to like pick and choose certain mods because they like aren't compatible. Whereas this small description obviously doesn't say that because it would be like, you know, Bethesda just doesn't advertise Nexus necessarily. But they have community mod shout outs, don't they? I don't know. It's weird. It's not, it'll be interesting to see how it develops, you know? You know, for example, if this paid mod is not being downloaded by certain people because they're not providing support for really popular community mods, then it would damage them financially because less people would buy it, right? So that makes sense. As a modder, I can also say we're we're very tired of Bethesda, but I think it's a labor of love for all the people who play Skyrim. It gets tiring, but yeah, I totally feel you, man. Like when it comes to our modders breaking every single time, like we do it because we love it, not because we're like making any money from it. And the same way in that, like you mod this game because you love to play it and get loads of community feedback on like all the stuff you create. Like it's one of the reasons I started YouTube, you know, I. For the first years, I was making nothing. I just did it because I thought it was cool to like help people out by making guides on Skyrim and just like sharing stupid moments. But yeah, like the influencer and gaming industry has changed massively since. And the modding industry is now going through that change, I think. So it'll be interesting to see how it develops and how things sort of work themselves out. I think there'll definitely be a very anti-paid mod side to things. There always is. And then... You know, over time, that will just sort of settle down because I think, you know, Bethesda and Microsoft, who own Bethesda, have made the decision that this is paid mods now and this is just how it's going to be. But yeah, guys, I think um, overall, East Empire expansion, I feel like we kind of like ran through some of the mod today and then we kind of explored all the mechanics and stuff and I think it's cool. Um, I think to actually like know if this mod is really like i think i would use it if i made a new playthrough on survival mode or a normal character and i'd enjoy having access to this because it just makes the game a lot easier to play of not having to go back to town it kind of almost removes the system of having to go and sell your stuff yourself um which is interesting so i'm kind of interested to see how that affects gameplay but on the face of it i think it's a cool new mechanic layer to the game it makes the East Empire Company faction actually feel like a real faction in the game, which is really cool. Like, it feels like it's just part of the game and should have belonged there since the beginning. So I love that. Um, and also, yeah, like, it, it's always one of those things, though. Like, is it worth, what is it, like, 7 or $8? And the price is going up on the 12th, by the way. They're increasing the cost of the Creation Club points. Don't know what to, but it's going to get more expensive. And it's always the comparison of, like, oh, you can buy you know, Skyrim and all the DLC for like $8. Um, so it's like, how will you ever get the value of this DLC? And it's kind of like, yeah, well, this stuff is there to purchase it if you want the extra experience. And, you know, with Creation Club and how much money they've made from that, then there definitely will be people there that do buy it, uh, no matter what. It's the same with like mobile games and microtransactions, right? There's always people that buy that stuff. Like look at Diablo 4 and like the cash shop and everything. Like they make so much money from that. League of Legends skins, even that's a free-to-play game. Again, 
just funds the whole company, doesn't it? So if there's always people there to buy it, even if it's not you. Um, so the question is, is it worth it for you? Um, there's always going to be free alternatives. I wouldn't be surprised if there's people that are so annoyed by this that they try and make a free alternative to some of the paid mods, you know? Um, but that's up to your decision. I think at the end of the day, this stuff is being advertised to people on Xbox, which is really where most of the sales are probably going to be made. If I own the paid mods, 100% no issue. Um, we'll make the patches, but I am not buying a paid mod just to make a patch. Yeah, okay. Fair. Like, you know, there'll be people who think that, but there'll be other people that just don't even think about that or care. So, so that's the thing. Like, you know, it'll be interesting to see what it looks like going forward and and how all the people kind of like support this system because it's community driven isn't it so and we're going to see this on fallout and starfield in a matter of time it's only a matter of time you know and the elder scroll 6 will have this same model at launch um probably not a launch but after they've released the dlc like they're doing with starfield um it will be interesting to see what that means for the game I think Starfield having some of these systems will be good. I think right now, like that game's crying out for mods to add like cool content. And like, I think it could really change the gameplay and make it um, enjoyable by some Bethesda gamers that maybe didn't like Starfield as much, but like Skyrim and Fallout. Yeah, I feel like player homes, like there's, there's like player homes, like a dime a dozen. There's so many of them. Like it's so competitive. Like what player home are you going to choose? one of the 100 free ones or like one of the paid ones even eleonora's um eleonora's free houses that she made are as good as the paid ones so it's like okay well obviously you choose her free ones but again like she sold loads of the the paid ones so um it's there's always different people for different things right like anything in life you know not everyone's gonna spend two grand on a louis vuitton handbag but there are some people that will. So yeah, it, it's there. It's like something for everyone. So yeah, excited to see how this goes and what it looks like one year from now. How many paid mods will there be? What will that community look like? And will it be different to the rest of the modern community? Probably. We'll see. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I will continue to do edited um, like reviews of this stuff. And I'll do an edited one of this. I just wanted to play through it with an uncut gameplay just so you can sort of see how it is. Um, and the horse taming was quite fun too. I never brought that stuff until Anniversary Edition came out because it just really didn't interest me. But yeah, I mean, it's it's nice that it's there, but it was included in Anniversary Edition. That's why I have it. I don't know if anyone actually, unless you just love horses, would have brought that. All right, guys, have a lovely evening and rest of your weekend, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Farewell. <laughs>